Oh, my God, I like that. I like Gretchen Wilson. I've never heard of her before. She's what, a country artist? What, what's her song? Redneck, some redneck song she does. Anyway, uh, at Global Limits on Twitter, turned me on to that song. Never heard it before. Didn't even know that Allison Chains uh, got together with Gretchen Wilson to do Barracuda. Love it. That's from 2007, too. That song's a bit old. I think it was at the VH1 Honors or something VH1 like that. Rock, rock Honors, yeah. Rock Honors or whatever. And uh, the reason we play Barracuda is because of Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who is in studio. Oh, right. See how this all comes together? Right. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who's going to be a, a big a big hit on uh, Walking Dead, came in a couple days ago. He was a great guest. Yeah. He was he was awesome. And right at the end, we were talking about Seattle music because he's from Seattle and hard. And, and he said something about how much he loves Barracuda. And then this guy on Twitter, Global Limits, says, well, if you like Barracuda, you got to check out this version. That's why I love, uh, you know, getting turned on to music by some of these people on Twitter. I always nice. Think, whenever I see Jerry Cantrell, I always remember the time I hung out with him and picked him up at his hotel, but then had to stop off at Dugal and pick up a couple of celebrity photos. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Your uh, photo place downtown, Yeah, right? I was on my way down to the cellar. He, he wanted to come to the cellar with me. So. Right. And and so you you have Jerry Cantrell in your car, and then you tell him we got to make a pit stop. He didn't know what it was for, but I told him because he asked, why are we in line at this photo place? I'm so bummed. You were both uh, in line? Yeah, yeah. He came oh, out. that's so funny. I, I, I would... Uh, uh, I don't know how I would handle that because I was a, I was a huge Alice in Chains fan. Uh, were you into Alice in Chains at all? No, I mean I, I respect them. I, I'll listen if they're on. I know they're a great band, but they weren't. I yeah. listen to them all the time. The three guys are now all gone. It's unbelievable. I loved Lane Staley's voice. I right. loved Scott Weiland's voice, and right. I loved Kurt Cobain's voice. And all three are gone. It's unbelievable. Yeah, really young. All died young. I mean, Scott Weiland made it to forty-eight. That's not young considering what he was up to. Yeah, twenty-seven to thirty-three seems to be the big one where people drop dead. Yeah, and uh, if you make it past that, I guess you win. Then you you could squeeze out fifty possibly right. with all your partying. But you and Jerry Cantrell online that makes me really happy. Yeah, it didn't make him happy. I don't think. <laughs> I would have uh, been mortified. I met Jerry Cantrell once through Jim Brewer. Brewer was interviewing uh, Jerry, and uh, oh my God, a huge Allison Chains fan, and I forgot the other guy's name. Jesus. Anyway, uh, uh, Brewer knows them really well, so uh, Brewer gave me a call and said, hey, I'm uh, interviewing these guys. And I was like a fanboy, man. I could barely talk to Jerry. I love, uh, I just love Alice in Chains. But I, I don't like the new version of it. And everyone, everyone tells me that they're really, really good, you know, with the new singer. But I just, I, I don't know. I just never got into it. Is he a black guy, the new singer? He See, this is how far behind I am. I, last I checked, he was, unless they, you know, uh, okay. switched out the singer again. But uh, yes, yes. I, I did know that. I met him at the Gene Simmons roast. That was where I met Cantrell. Yeah. At the um, and you guys became instant friends. We just got along. We, we he, I think he enjoyed what I did, make fun of Gene, and you know, the next time I saw him, we chatted. Yeah. yeah. We don't hang out, but music. He enjoyed your uh, your Gene slams. Yeah. I, I, I've texted him since then, but I haven't heard back. So. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He may be done with me. He doesn't want to stand in line anymore. No, I don't blame him. He's like, what am I doing? I'm a rock star. This hey, guy's a fucking idiot. You should call him and just go, hey, man, I, I got some things to do at Kinko's. You want to yeah. you want to join me? You want to help me copy something, a script? So you can fucking run lines with me. Right. Uh, so how was uh, the pre-sale, Jimmy? It was a big day yesterday. It went very well. I was happy. Good. Yeah. Th oh, there's one... Um, William Duvall, by the way. Sorry. Discrepancy. It and that is that uh, DC is not on sale yet. Right. Um, but there, there was a thing with certain seat kills. Yeah. It will go on sale, but it's going on sale separately. So we didn't forget the link. I apologize for not announcing that properly. So you're off to a good start? Very good start. Oh, yeah, my agent was really positive. Good. I was expecting a negative phone call, but he was very, very happy. Were you just sitting at your uh, apartment just like waiting for that call and hoping for good news. No, he texted me late in the day. I don't talk to him every day. He's got two. He's got a lot of my my my, my last agent didn't have as many comics. Yeah. Um. He's got like a lot of comedians, so I'm I'm lucky. He, I, know. I talk to my agent uh, once a year. You know, we check in. Right. Oh yeah. He gives me the letter. You know, that letter and gives me the update on everything that's going on in his life and with his family and stuff. And <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> it's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> once a year, if I'm lucky, I get to hear from him. Yeah, I'll hear from him around Christmas. Bob always sends something nice. <laughs> He's a nice man. My brother and Bob's I. Bob's a nice man. My brother and I have an agent at CAA. Yeah. Uh, mm. Oh. Thank you. That's where the Jews go. Oh yeah. In fact, his name is Adam Berkowitz. Of course it is. And uh, Adam. Adam. <laughs> Sorry. Adam's like a big agent there. Yeah. And uh, and he's a he's he's the guy you want in your corner. 
So when we first it's met, it's not him, that big if you got this gig. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, we should be making some calls. But he, uh, when we first met him, and we were we were negotiating something. He he was like very friendly uh, at the beginning of the conversation. How's your family? Shabbat shalom. How's this? How's that? We're like fine. And then he's like, all right, let's talk about the contract. We're gonna fuck them. We're gonna fuck them on the wall. We're gonna fuck them when they bleed. <laughs> like all right, <laughs> all right, good. That's kind of uh, the, the type of guy you want on your side. Yeah, exactly. I love the guy to deal with these vultures. Yeah, I apparently sent out a very hacky tweet last night, but it's the truth. I, I loved it. That's but it's I a hack. Up someone, on the I don't think it was hack. No, someone, po- someone pointed out. Some guy pointed out on Twitter today. Yeah, he said I uh, some something about a, a lot of people have done that joke, and it's very possible it's a hacky joke, but it really is true. My phone does tell like when I'm writing, I'm going to telegram a liquor pussy. It says kick, and it annoys. It makes me hate technology. <laughs> the stupidity of it. I'm telling a girl I want to kick her pussy. <laughs> It just happens all the time. I have to go back. We're pissy. Right. It's like, I get that it does, the phone doesn't always know what you're doing, but how many times do I have to type the same phrase? I, I think I think the phone should understand the word pussy in the year 2015. Well, what you do to one. There's a lot of yeah, sexting yeah. going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You lick it. You don't kick it. Yeah, yeah if you kick a pussy, that's going to be a problem. You lick a pussy, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, depending if it's the pussy you're supposed to be licking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, man, Trump all over the fucking news. He's getting all the attention. What a, what is gonna, what is gonna happen with this guy? He should, look, if he wins, it's the best thing for comedians. There's no comedian that should want this guy to lose. Mm-hmm. It's the best thing for us. It is. It's four great years coming up. But, uh, everyone's coming out of the woodwork. Even, I mean, I saw that Muhammad Ali had something to say. Did he really have something to say? Is he in that state of mind that he was actually talking or, or, or is it his people talking in his voice? I don't know. Knowing what, you know, knowing the type of response he would have. Ali criticizes Trump. I mean, did he actually say this himself? Yeah, probably. He talks, uh, you know, when I sat with Muhammad. I know you know, he, he speaks. Jimmy. He speaks like that. like Really quiet, slow and quiet. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't talk much anymore, but he can talk, so I'm sure he said it. Without naming Mr. Trump, Mr. Ali said that Muslims have to stand up to those who use Islam to advance their own personal agenda. That went everywhere yesterday. Yeah. And then his, uh, Trump's old friend, Russell Simmons. Yes. Gave him a beating yesterday as yes, well. He did. Oh, did he? Basically wrote him a letter or something or a note saying you failed. You failed on this one with the with the Muslim thing. So, I don't know. A lot of people are... Uh, but he's not dropping the polls, right? No. Well, I think it's... I don't know if there's been a poll since the whole Muslim comment. So, well, I, I guess we'll know more no, next I think, week. Uh, I think more Republicans... Oh, Travis supported. is back! Hi. Yay! Hi. Yay. The important question is, Travis was gone? <laughs> Ooh, fresh, Jimmy. <laughs> what were you doing down there, Disney up? Yeah, I was just having some magical vacation. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. Okay. Mm. It's the best place. Your daughter probably hates it, though, right? Yeah, she's <laughs> we, just, we drag her there every She's day. like, Dad, again? Why? Come on, I Why? met Nikki already. Yes. <laughs> Uh, there, there is a poll that came out already. I, th- I think, uh, yeah. What I read this morning is that he's leading in every national poll, and that more Republicans have uh, supported him since these comments. Okay. I think like sixty-four percent of Republicans polled said that they would vote for him, and thirty-four percent said that these comments, you know, uh, make him more favorable. Yeah. There's a, there's a headline. No, nobody thought I would get this far. Trump is saying this morning, or or he might have said it late last night, and they're reporting it now. The the most interesting fact about Trump this morning is the fact that he's got the GOP by the balls. He's threatening to run as a third party, which would just fucking yeah. That that means the Republicans would have no fucking shot at winning this thing. Yep. So the Republicans don't know what the fuck to do. They want to kick him out of the party. Obviously, a of lot course. of these guys, but they also know that would be really bad. Yep. Man, they, they've all, Trump's in a, a in a, a pretty sick position right now. They've also all signed a pledge to uh, vote for him if he's the candidate. I mean, what else are they going to do? What, when, when did that happen? That was. Do you remember, like, before the first um, debate? Yeah, there was like the big thing of uh, uh, they, they even asked Trump, "Do you pledge to stay in the party?" There was this whole thing where they were unified. Yeah, and so now at the same time they're saying his comments are not those. They don't represent those of the Republican Party, but yeah. then in the same breath, they have to say they'll vote for him. Wow. Wow. Well, that's how fake that whole thing is. Right. Like, if they don't like the guy, they shouldn't vote for of him. Of course. Of course. But they try to stick together as a party. Oh, dicks. I think that's kind of one of the problems in this country. Yeah. 
The individual doesn't think for himself anymore. Right. They're like, well, we don't like the guy. We'll vote for him anyway. But we have That's to stupid. because we've got to protect the party. Uh, what's this? Lemon asked. Yeah, I saw some of the Don Lemon interview uh, last night on, on CNN. Uh, when you get a one-on-one with uh, Trump, he seems a bit more, like, normal. Uh, you know, he plays to those crowds at those rallies. Uh, right. But when you get him, when you sit him down, he's, dare I say, he's a bit more logical with what he's, uh, what he's explaining. Yeah. You know, he said, of course, I'll make exceptions uh, to my Muslim rule. Of course, because they were asking about athletes and stuff like that. He goes, yeah, you know, of course, I'm not going to keep in a, a, a Muslim athlete was one of the examples out of the country. Of course, I'll, uh, I'll let him in to compete and stuff like that. And he goes, of course, this is temporary until we could really figure out exactly what's going on here. But that's a, it's like he's, he's got his back against the wall because he said something stupid. Maybe he's doubling down on it. But it's just not a possible thing to do. Because then what's going to happen is people are just going to lie mm-hmm. and say, no, I'm not Muslim. Or they're just, it's, it's, it's a d- dumb thing to do. Plus, I think there's, uh, you know, there's probably a lot of people in this country already that uh, <laughs> it's too late. They're here already. Yeah. They're already here. Uh, so what's this clip? Don Lemon asked him if any of the personal attacks bother him. Yeah, and he was also asking him if he's a racist. And surprisingly, Donald Trump is the least racist person that that's you'll the know. Cl- that's the part I saw. Oh, yeah. that's an interesting thing Trump said. Yeah. That's, ooh, yeah. Ooh. Shocking. And yeah. then and then this from last night. Mediaites. Question. I asked you last time, I said, and people, some people were shocked. If you were racist, you knew why I was asking you that. Are you racist? I am the least racist person that you have ever met. <laughs> I am the least racist. I, I can I say that he's Don Lemon's probably met a lot of people. I don't know if Trump would be like the actually like. I, look, I went over the list. You're actually last on the list. I can't believe it. I thought it'd be some other people, but you yeah. are last on the list. Yeah. Good for you. I'm yes. the least racist person you've ever met. Yes. Wow. I thought some people in interracial marriages, <laughs> right. might, but no, you beat them out. They're more racist than you. Right. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> and there's a back and forth going on with Trump and the Philadelphia, uh, the Philadelphia mayor. You might want to find that stuff, yeah, too. That. Oh, you do have that? Yeah. Okay, because that was pretty terrific, too. He called him a loser or something on Twitter? Well, he called him worse in a press conference. Yeah, all right. But first this, uh, continuing with uh, Mr. Trump and Don Lemon from last night. Are you night. bigoted in any way? You I don't think? think so. No, I don't think so. Islamophobic? I'm a person. No, not at all. I'm a person <laughs> who happens to be very smart, and I happen to have a certain street sense, and I know where things are going. I said, take out Osama bin Laden. In a book written in the year 2000, called The America We Deserve. I said, you better be careful. Wait a minute. Did he actually know that bin Laden was bad after Kenya and fucking the USS Cole in Tanzania? Well, oh, my God. After some terrorist attacks, he knew. Yeah. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. This guy's it, good. Yeah. He was <laughs> he, he was the first one to know that, Jimmy. If you said that in 1985, I'd, I'd, I'd That'd be, be very pretty impressed. impressed. Yes. 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 <laughs> I said a lot of things uh, you know, after those uh, yeah. terrorist attacks. It wasn't just a lot of us knew when 9-11 happened, it was bin Laden. That was the first thing I thought when it happened. It's the first thing 10 million other people thought. Yeah. We knew who it was. But That's not a big secret. We were pretty certain. Yes. Yeah, we all knew. Okay. So this guy, Osama bin Laden, probably on television. I thought he never got sick. Does it? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> Let's send him a coldies. <laughs> I love that. He fucking did that on our show. He said, take him out. Uh-oh. He knocked down the world. He's got a sore throat. So as I sit here with you, you've been very kind to me, right? You've got introduce me to your family you've been very kind to me it has to when people say that you're racist or homophobic or islamophobic or, or whatever it is that has to bother you or compare you to hitler their newspaper <laughs> <laughs> he just throws that in or compare you to hitler um uh, don lemon is a sneaky sneaky one he is does sneaky. that bother you no, if things are true if that were true, it would bother me tremendously, okay? But of course, if you're a racist, you probably wouldn't care. But if things are true, it would bother me. But if it's, it's so false, and honestly, I don't hear it often. There you go. Well, no one says it to you. We always, you know. Yeah. yeah. There you have it. Trump from uh, last night with Don Lemon. My pal Don Lemon did a good job there. I, I don't mind watching the Don Lemon. I don't mind. No, he's great. I, I used to not like him, but I do now. He's one of the better ones, I think. Yeah. He, he mixes it up a, a bit. He does. He doesn't, uh, he's not, you know, he's not pro on every black issue where the, just like the Republican thing, some of these people get on TV and they have to be pro black issue every single time. And then Don Lemon is the one that's 
goes against that a lot of times, and they get really mad at him. Didn't he stand then, with a sign that said nigger on it? Huh? Didn't he hold that sign up? Yeah, yeah I, he I was mean, the one. This guy's great. And then as soon as he goes against the, you know, the black issue of the day, then you go to Twitter, and they all call him an Uncle Tom. They get really mad. So he's, he's, he's a bit braver than the rest of them. Right. That's for sure. Yeah, he's a little more unpredictable. Hey, why is Harry Dan- Dean Stanton on Fox and Friends? Oh, sorry, that's Carly Fury. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, remember her? Yeah. Why Why do they even have her on? I don't know. I thought it was a lady in a fucking smooth Halloween mask. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking, what an oblong head. Her Her hair needs some volume. My yeah. God. Yeah, it's terrible. That's horrendous. Yeah, it's got the luster of mortar. <laughs> She's got my hair from the WAF days. <laughs> yeah. Didn't work for me. It's not working for you. No, we're both <laughs> bombing on Harry's Back to back to the tape. <laughs> All right, we'll go back no, to the was, tape. That was tandem bombing. Yeah, Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter. Uh, mm, fucking crazy. He called him an asshole. He called Trump an asshole? He called Trump an asshole. <laughs> in front of a bunch of religious leaders. Uh, yep, funny. at a press conference, and he happened to say that in front of religious leaders, like Eric just said. So he then followed up by saying, I apologize, reverends, people of the religious community, I apologize. And then you got to go to the Trump tweet after this. There oh, boy. Yep. Hey, why is your hand play? Oh, no. What's the problem today? Come here, today? hand play. Oh. Did they upgrade our computers finally? <laughs> <laughs> I remember the days that, that used to just drive me nuts. Now I just laugh like a lunatic. Who gives yeah, a fuck, I mean, right? Who gives just, a fuck? It's just Wait a show. Work, oh, here we go. Oh, now it decided to work. I mean, he's an asshole. I mean, he. I mean, what do you? T- I mean. Uh, oh wait, I'm sorry. I was talking over. Yeah, let's start over. Well, uh, the computer decided to let's play see. that. I know I... that wasn't Eric. It just decided it was time to play it on its own. Eric. <laughs> the computer has become a weir. <laughs> it's self away. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. It now it's not. It now it decided it doesn't want to play. Nope. When are when are they gonna fix the computer? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That oh, it decided to play again. Yeah, Why is it doing it when we're trying to do bits? You got to hit refresh. Ready? Let, uh, hit refresh. Uh, refresh. He's an asshole. Right. I mean, he. I mean, what do you? T- I mean, uh, uh, I apologize, reverends. Uh, people in the religious community, I, I, I apologize. Um, I, I mean, uh, uh, how can I take seriously any foreign policy idea from someone like him? I mean, it just, it's impossible. So he has no idea. What- yeah. I like that guy. Yeah. And then he was pretty calm on CNN when he was explaining himself about the whole thing. But what is there even to, like, did CNN really ask? Like, he obviously was just talking off the cuff, and he called him an asshole because he doesn't like him. He doesn't really, he's not really bothered that he uh, uh, called him an asshole. He was, you know, he moved past that pretty quickly. Trump probably didn't respond. Uh, let's see what he Look said. this one. Uh, what? Ten minutes ago, Trump just, he, yeah. he what announced you- he's postponing his trip to Israel, uh, uh, to a later date after he becomes president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is he pro- uh, postponing uh, his uh, They kind of don't want him there. Or so everyone wants he, to kill him. Yeah, he's... Yeah, all the, uh, oh, all the because, people around the world are yeah. still... Oh, they try and kill him. I was thinking, you know, the people that believe in conspiracies, hmm, with Trump uh, getting everyone in a pickle, you know, I wonder if he's uh, uh, upping his security... Oh, yeah. Oh, he has Secret Service. Oh, yeah, he does. It. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He does because he's one of the top candidates. Sure. But Oh, yeah. You know, if you think the government does things and you got Trump, who's a big pain in the ass for a lot of people, I wonder if the conspiracy theor- theorists are already on this one. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's fine. He, but, the, wow, he's... What? What happened? Well, this uh, low life he called them. Uh, yeah, he called them. So, so that that was the mayor of Philadelphia. And then Trump quickly tweeted after the mayor called him an asshole. Uh, at Mayor underscore Nutter of Philadelphia, who is doing a terrible job, <laughs> should be ashamed for using such a disgusting word and referring to me. Low life is what he tweets. Our yeah. next president might use language like low life. Low, on Twitter. On Twitter. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He battles it out on Twitter like the I rest actually, of us. I actually handle criticism on Twitter better than he does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I'm going to go out on a limb. I don't know if we want our, our next president battling it out on Twitter. No. I mean, you got to just let some of this stuff go, Somebody right? got to let go. It's exactly what Penn Jillette said. Like, he shouldn't, when they were arguing, should he really be arguing with a Carney, remember that? Yeah, I don't know. I think it would be kind of fun to have a president that is battling it out on Twitter. Yeah, it's a bit more of a real, real person, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I don't know. What was the other thing I wanted to show you? Um, oh, Ooh. did you saw? Did you see the Darth Trump? I just no. tweeted it out, and we could tweet it out on our uh, show accounts. I did not. It's more of a visual, but it's fucking brilliant, man. Guy took all the Trump, uh, a bunch of Trump clips, and uh, yeah, just play a little bit of it. It's probably more of a visual, but hold on. Yeah, just uh, fast forward a little bit. Right? A lot of plans are not aboard this ship, and no transmissions were made. I just released my financials, and people were amazed at how good they are. They're great. And I did something, you know, of, I mean, I employ thousands of people. I employ, you know, I, I don't know if you saw it, but the Nevada poll just came out, and it was fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, I'm a very, very strong believer in Christianity and religion. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes or given you clairvoyance enough to find the rebels hidden. I deal with foreign countries. I've made a lot of money dealing against China. I've made a lot of money dealing against many other countries. I have a great relationship. In a Business Week poll, they said, who do you most prefer? You know, they talked about the data. Release it. Guarantee you I would have had him out. Yeah, that's great. Isn't that wonderful? Really funny. Darth Trump is hilarious. Yeah. The, the part of the funny part is <laughs> just the stunned look on their face while this <laughs> asshole is yapping at them. <laughs> Give me a little bit more. It's a little long. Yeah, and we we tweeted it out. Uh, Opie Radio on my Twitter and then Opie and Jimmy, the, the Twitter account. That made me really laugh. The show. It should be on both in a, in a minute or two. Yeah, play it just a little more. There's no one on board, sir. According to the log, the crew abandoned ship right after takeoff. Nice people. Uh, I'll discuss a couple of them, should I, or should I not? If there were any on board, they must also have chosen. <laughs> you won't get angry at me if I talk about somebody that you like? <laughs> if you do, that's okay, too. I don't I mean, how stupid are we? <laughs> and then he walks off. Oh. supposed to be devoid of humans. Whoa! The rebels. My lord. There are so many uncharted settlements. You don't have to be a total genius to figure this out, even though I am a genius, okay? <laughs> I'm more militaristic than anybody in this room, just so you understand. I am, and I'm really good at war. I love war in a certain way, but only when we win. <laughs> By the way, when was the last time we won a war? <laughs> that, wait a second. That's fake audio. <laughs> Fucking bull sugar. That's fake. <laughs> oh my god. It's very funny. Isn't that great? Yeah. That uh, hit the old uh the old Twitter late last night, so check Dark it out for yourself. Trump. The visual really makes it, really brings it together, right? Yeah, it could have been a lot shorter, but it's just you know, you can leave it on for as long as you like. It's just yeah, exactly. Exactly. Very uh, well done. Is that it in, in Trump news, I think? Yeah. That audio is fake. <laughs> Travis, look that up. It's fake. You're an idiot, Chip. You're an idiot. No, good you one. You believed it. <laughs> Fucking piece of Disney garbage. <laughs> wow, he just got <laughs> back. Disney yeah, nice ears. <laughs> I didn't miss you. <laughs> he just got back. Let him settle in. Yeah. Did you, you didn't miss Chip at all? No, and I'm, I'm on my flight there. <laughs> Jet Blue's got some contest about chipping in. Oh yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> I'm so I, happy. I turn to my wife. I'm like, I can't escape this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking all over you. <laughs> what? Uh, Trump had a problem with the bald eagle. That yeah, there are just some outtakes, and the it's bald eagle goes after him. The the one detail that's visual, unfortunately, is that um, his hair gets messed up, and the the eagle handler touches Trump's hair, and you can kind of tell what. The hair system is it moved the whole thing as, as one thing yeah you can see it but maybe as it's because it's sprayed down i don't know yeah um, he's just got someone an expert that's how you know it's real i hate talking about his hair yeah. but there's a woman or, or a guy or somebody who does it that's why he wears that hat outdoors right. Mm -hmm. if right. it was totally a fucking wig you wouldn't wear the hat right yeah but it, it, it needs uh, a lot of work right yeah it needs yeah. to be sprayed down and uh and put in its proper place Oh my god, I've never seen Trump scared before. Yeah, he's got the fucking bird it, there on his desk, and the bird flaps its wings angrily. Yeah, he's a bit scared by the the yeah. bald eagle. Yeah, Trump called it a twat on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that eagle was a twat. <laughs> what a loser! What yeah, a what, loser, a loser. Right, right. what a loser! What a loser! Bald eagle, bring me an eagle with hair. <laughs> <laughs> that eagle is a real fucking uh, frightening animal. 
Oh my god! The birds are frightening when they're that big. Absolutely. Like a little bird. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I break their necks sometimes. Oh, sure. Good. Yeah, I just snap and throw them on the floor. Good. Watch the kids cry. <laughs> Jeez. Show them who's tough. You just go into the pet store. Yeah, if I'm with a girl and I want to impress her, like sometimes if I've gotten bullied, like if I've let a guy bump into me and I didn't say anything because he was bigger, mm-hmm. I'll reclaim my dignity by going in there and breaking the neck of a small bird. <laughs> come with me, real quick. Yeah, come here. Check this out. <laughs> on the floor. Oh my god. That's right. Fuck yeah. Do you even pay for it afterwards? Nope. You throw it on the right floor. Out? Kick it right into the fucking... <laughs> I kick it under the heating vent. God, I don't know where it went. Just like that. Yep. Right. But when they get to be big like crows or fucking hawks or whatever, they are frightening animals. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. What's the other one that goes on your... Uh, the, the, the one that stands on your... on the A falcon? The falcons are scary, man. Falcon's definitely scary. An eagle flapping its wings? Yeah, no, thank you. I wonder how much that is to rent an eagle for a little while. <laughs> they, they had to rent that eagle for that commercial or for whatever tr- ad Trump was doing. Can we right? get an eagle in studio? That's got to be so much fucking money. I'm on it. Let, uh, let's see if we get an eagle on uh, in studio to end the year. We had a chimp on Louis. Had a chimp on Louis uh, that, that never made the final cut because it, it was a whole long scene with uh, uh, all of us at the table and fucking Nick DiPaolo and the Nick freaks out. But it was hard to do the scene because the chimp, Nick Nick was getting like, get that fucking thing out of it. It was really funny. But he, you couldn't do that with the chimp in the room because the chimp would, under, would take that as aggression. Yeah. So it had to be pieced together in a way that just didn't work in the final edit. And um, I, I heard that the chimp was like 40 grand. Now, I don't know if it's that much, but that was what I heard. I didn't I didn't ask Louie that. I figured who said that. So if that chimp is that much, an eagle must be more. To run a chimp, 40 now, Gs. Now, watch that be wrong. Watch the chimp be be 6,000 and the eagle 1,400. <laughs> I'm sure I'm wrong. You sure uh, Nick DiPaolo wasn't the problem? Uh, no, 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 in the scene, he was the problem. The guy brings the chimp in. It's so bizarre. We're playing poker yeah. and the fucking Louis has the chimp come in with a guy mm-hmm. and Nick just jumps up and freaks out. Get that fucking thing. Like it's this unreasonable anger at a chimp and this fear of a chimp. And then I had a good regular Joe line. He had me do regular Joe. And it just uh, didn't make the cut. No, that because sucks. it was after uh, something about monkey business. Ah, all that monkey business. Yeah. Lou. You know, I was really bummed out that one didn't make it. <laughs> Did you see the monkey seeing a magic trick? This one around uh, oh, yesterday. No, I, it's an orangutan. Oh, orangutan. Uh, t- uh, I always said that word wrong. And we all do. It. I always yes, it's orangutan. Everyone says that. I, I, I hate orangutan. Say, yeah, I would say orangutan. Yeah, but uh, I love this. Yeah, I've watched it's it. It's more of a showing time. a picture of their cock. Like it's more of a, <laughs> it's more of a visual. That's why you got to follow us on the old Twitter because we uh, tweet these video videos out immediately as we talk about them. Opie and Jimmy on Twitter. Uh, did we tweet it out? We should try to tweet them out ahead of time too, yeah. so they can kind but of. Don't play forget, along. we're like three minutes ahead right now. Oh, we got time. We got plenty of Trump's time. Head, which I saw the video on Fox. Wait, three minutes ahead. So yeah. how does that? By work? the time they hear this, it'll be up. Or five, five minutes, four minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it does work. Yeah, it's got plenty of time. Good, all right, let's uh, take a look at this then. Just relax. It's all good. We're good. <laughs> Showing a monkey a cup. What is that? A berry? Yeah, some kind of like nut berry. crap that falls out of a tree. Right. They did the switcheroo. It's not in the cup anymore. You show the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the orangutan. Oh, orangutan. Thinks it's hilarious. He fell back. Fell back. The and laughed. Laughed with laughter. Thought it was great. Ah, oh, now he shows its asshole. You crazy guy. What the fuck? Why that does it always have cute. to show its asshole? That's, That's why how they say that they're more dominant than you are. Look at this. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're still you in a zoo. want to see a trick? Look at this. That's why you're still in a zoo. Stop mm. showing your asshole. We might let you out. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Just be respectful for once, for fuck's sake. Every 10 years, we test the monkeys. I'm like, nah, they're still showing their assholes. We got to keep them where they are. Yeah, they still don't know how to say That's great without fucking opening their cheeks. <laughs> right. We can't have them in restaurants. <laughs> exactly. And they showed the whole eagle thing on Fox, what happened was that the eagle was stand, stand, standing on his desk, and he went to reach for something in one of the drawers, yeah. and uh, you know, the eagle didn't care for his hand going in that general direction, and then just fucking flapped its wings, and like, you know. Could a, could a, if, you're in a, listen, uh, if you're in a room with a bald eagle, what kind of problem would that be for you, you think? It would depend, I mean, in, in fairness... How would you fight it? Y- y- if you had to grab it, you gotta watch it doesn't pluck your eyes out because they know what to go for. But you're, you're bigger than that and heavier than that. Just fucking grab his wings and throw them against the wall. And they're quick as fuck. Oh yeah, he'd hurt you. But if you grabbed them, you'd have to take a big, 
as long as your eyes were protected, you'd get fucked up. But you just crush him. It's a fucking bird. Just like that, you think you'd have no problem with a bald eagle? You'd have to be willing to get fucked up, but of course not. He's you're bigger than him. one punch what? to a bald eagle's fucking stupid chest. What about the talons? Again, yeah, they fuck you up. They're gonna slice you pretty good. Those talons. Yeah, he's big, and, and he's then flying. that beak could probably go right through your fucking face. It certainly can. But let, good luck with me. I'm I'm only one thirty eight. By fall, that little cunt. He's a dead man. <laughs> I don't know. I think that would be horrific to try to fight a bald eagle. Very unpredictable. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do it, but I would kick the shit out of a bald eagle. You're going to the fight this weekend, right? I certainly am. It's Aldo against the bald eagle. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and McGregor. Yeah. And um, Weidman is fighting. Uh, My brother-in-laws are all about McGregor. No, McGregor I, I want to see. One. I want to see. Fucking... He's the underdog, though, right? McGregor? He has to be, yeah. He's a great shit talker, though. He's a really, really... Cool guy to watch, and he's he's a good fighter. But I um, I want Aldo to fucking Brazilian leg kick his fucking uh, knees out from under him. Why? Well, because he's a shit talker. Yeah, I like Jose Aldo. I just like him. McGregor is a shit talker. Yeah, but I don't mind that. He's I don't pretty, mind a good shit talker. I love Chael Sonnen. He's pretty entertaining. It seems like Dana White's allowing a little more of that shit talk. A he never really bit. stopped it. He just you know, as long as you test negative for anything illegal, you're fine. You know, I don't think he cares as much. I don't um, like I don't like that sportsmanship. It gets boring after a while. I like the, I like knowing that these guys have a real problem. I really do. Right. I, I love that shit when everyone is just uh, overly nice and and I don't know. The fact that they're real, you know, like Uriah Faber said one time, I, "Hey, look, man, why are we talking? We're gonna fight." Like, yeah, those guys are genuinely fighting. So for for me, there's less of it with them because. They just, I don't know, they, their guys really don't have a whole lot to prove. They, they're just going to settle it, you know, mm -hmm. with their fists. Mm -hmm. So, I don't mind the shit talkers, but I kind of want to see Aldo really kick the shit out of them. This kind of keeps it, keeps it fun for everyone. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going to, uh, uh, what's going to happen. I just don't know. All right. I mean, that's uh, obvious. No one knows. The eagle or the fight. No, this is not real, is it? No, I got to put it together. Oh, okay. That's that hilarious. eagle was a cunt, total loser. That's why they're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> that was very funny. Who uh, who uh, put that together? Matt Rowan. Matt Rowan. What's his uh, Twitter handle? You should get credit. That's hilarious. We just retweeted that. Yeah, very funny. All right, that's really, really. Especially funny. with Trump calling the eagle a cunt. Like <laughs> says so just for Jimmy. Add yeah. Opie and Jimmy just for Jimmy. That it's a a fake Donald. We should say it's a fake Donald Trump tweet. No, that says, it says real Donald Trump. Real what? Donald J. Oh, Trump. Yeah. It says that allegedly. Eagle. Real Donald J. Trump. Why would he call it a cunt? I'd love to let, let him sue me. Just so he has to be deposed and say I did not write cunt. <laughs> that eagle was a cunt. Total loser. That's why they're in danger. It's a, it's a very. It's really funny. <laughs> Are they endangered still? Aren't I think their numbers, they are. Their numbers coming back a little bit. Apparently, they don't like fucking. Is that what it is? Well, it must be. If there's not, we've been trying to protect these assholes for God knows how long. They just what? They can't keep their rods. Too busy picking on small mice. <laughs> they have good eyes, though. They have very good eyes. Hence the expression. Eagle eyes. Eagle eyes, eagle right, eyes. right. But it's funny to watch the Trump thing because the the Trump the, the eagle's sitting there and Trump reaches and the eagle has like a delayed reaction of like a half a second. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's the thing with the great eyes. He didn't notice the stupid hand coming in. Like it took him a second to register. Uh, yeah, but uh, maybe that's maybe that uh, eagle's a little more behaved too. I don't know. Maybe they beat the shit out of it so it behaves. I think that's what they do. I wonder Behind how the scenes they beat the like shit that. out of it so that they know it's not actually going to attack. That's right. Uh, Mr. Trump. I don't think you need a commercial with an eagle in it to prove something. I don't think that needs to be the symbol of America. It's nice, but we don't really need it. Uh, why did... Oh, boy, we got the stunt brain. Let me see what he wrote here. Why did Trump cancel postpone Israel trip? He had to. The Blaze reports Israeli prime minister... Why don't you call us? Stunt brain, you got the number? How about uh, stunt brain call? Because the, the Blaze just did a whole uh, piece on why Trump actually canceled his trip to Israel. So, uh, um, hold on, let me write him. Was it because the uh, Israeli PM didn't want to deal with it? Yeah, man, I don't. I think it would be a. Don't they have problem. other Muslim leaders there? Um, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I think, I think, uh, I think they're a little against what Trump said about the Muslims as well. Oh, okay. I believe. All right, call in, and then he'll. Uh, we'll get to the bottom of that one. Yes, Trump's, I couldn't read Trump's tweet. He said he was going to go, but there's too many goddamn, and he just it cut, <laughs> off. It cut off. I, I love that he says he'll go after he becomes president. 
He is not dropping out of this fucking race. No, of course not. He's definitely not a Clinton plant. He's he's uh, he's literally going to run. Why would a guy that arrogant want to drop out? He's got billions. Mm -hmm. Like, who, how could you buy him? You just can't. I'm I'm sick of the news. Also saying Trump doubles down. He's been doubling down every other week at this point. Yeah. He's not backing off uh, what he said about the the Muslims. That's that's half of why people like him. It's not even what he's saying. It's the fact that he's just not being cowed by the thing that, that makes everybody else go, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. Yeah. He's just not doing that. Yeah. So people are willing to tolerate a lot more from him because they're like, at least this guy is saying what he wants to say. Yeah, and he's not backing down from what he says. Yeah. Everyone else feels depression, says, all right, well, man, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Not Donald Trump. So. Yeah, and I think what he said was kind of dumb. I mean, you're not going to... I love that he's threatening to leave the Republican Party if he's not treated right. I think he says, I'm like, if I'm not treated like a front runner, then, yeah, I would consider uh, an, an independent run. Only and in that just fucks everything up for those guys. Only in politics is the word front runner a compliment. That's what, <laughs> that's what dicks they are. <laughs> right. That's considered an insult. Wait, wait or is it? Uh, no, no, wait, hold on. Oh, what no. What were you I don't know. I know I'm thinking of like bandwagoner. Oh, okay. Front runner. What am I thinking of? That's all right. No, I still fuck up. I'm early. sorry. I and, apologize. And you're an excited boy because your tickets are going well. Yes, I am, and they go on sale today. Actually, for real, for everybody. So you don't even need the code anymore. You don't starting need the today. code. Yeah, just go to jimmerton.com. Ten a.m. All tickets on sale for real. For and then everybody. now we're going to start running. I don't even. A lot of the ads haven't run yet, and the commercials and stuff. So all that stuff will be running. And it's easy. It's an easy Christmas present. I'm telling you. Yeah, a lot of people easy. tweeted me that they bought this for uh, somebody. Or Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For or welcome. Hanukkah. You. Kwanzaa. What day are we up to? Ramadan. Ramadan. Sure. It's day 44 of Han Hanukkah. <laughs> day four. Hanukkah. Ugh. I didn't sleep all. Day. I didn't go to bed till one last. Day. I was watching The Wire. I just couldn't oh. go to bed. Why watch the? <laughs> That's what keeps you awake. I know. I got caught up. I got caught up. A show up. you've seen a million times. I got caught up in the one episode where Michael wants the fucking guy who's kind of. Like his mother's creepy ex jail yeah. boyfriend who you know is molesting his little brother. Yeah. And he goes to fucking Marlo and Chris. Uh, sure. And he's like, uh, I want this guy out. And Snoop doesn't get it. And she's like, What the fuck did he do to you? And, and Chris looks at Michael and, Mike, and he just gets it. He goes, We, we have you. He yeah. understands that this guy's molesting him. It's such a great fucking under, understated thing. Yeah. And then he beats the guy to death Great with, with his fucking, he pistol whips him oh, yeah. and beats him to death. And then you understand in that moment, oh. This is what happened. This is what happened to him. Yes. It's great. It's so great, the beating he gives that guy. But anyway, I just had to watch that how scene. Great, so how was how great is Snoop on that show? Awesome. We had her on once, remember? I wasn't here. Louis was here. You I was out here that for day. Snoop? No. Louis C.K. was here, and she recognized Louis through the glass from Lucky Louis. And she came in. I guess she wasn't booked, and uh, she no. was exactly how she was on The Wire. There yeah. was no acting going on no, there. No, not at all. She not was all. just playing herself, which makes that even scarier if you think about it. I'm very bummed I haven't. She's one of the, my favorite people, and I've not met her. She was cool. Yeah. She's, she's extremely cool. Um, Felicia Pearson. But that, that she, it, was, it was so great because she just didn't get what what was happening between these the between the young Michael and the older Chris yeah. like the, the 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 understanding. She's like, "What the fuck did he do?" She just didn't say, "Come on, dope." How do you not get that? Our lives are very different. You're you're staying up late watching the wire, and I was watching the peanuts. Well, it's, you my, know, my young one is all about the peanuts out of nowhere. Which is so weird to, to I, I don't even know if they're new peanuts, old peanuts. I can't tell. Although they're not in letterbox, so I guess they got to be old. It's the old cartoons, but they update the voices every few years. Do they? Is that what that is? Yeah. Why? That's what threw why. me off. Thank you. They've why are they do doing that? I don't know. They've done that since we were kids. They That's what have. threw me off because I'm looking at the peanuts. This is a little side thing, but I'm watching with my daughter, and I'm like, this isn't new because it's not a letterbox. You know, it's square like our old fucking TVs, right. and you can rent them on demand. And there was a Christmas one or something. And I'm like, what's different about this? Yep. That's it. They uh, were updating the voice. They do a new voices. audio mix or is it, or is it that it's they a new to audio pay people? No, it's, it, an, it's it, a new audio mix because, which makes it feel like it's a, uh, it's newer. It's different voices. They get different voice, they, different, uh, talent. Plus they don't do have it. to pay people forever. For 50 years of, of airing those cartoons. They wow. might get new contracts. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, thank you for that. I, it was driving me nuts. I'm like, I, what is different about this? I remember seeing a special, uh, some folk look at that, that they were like in the 80s, yeah. uh, bringing in new people to revoice the people from like 10, 12 years ago. And they, and they said that they do it every few years, but they didn't really go. Are they the while. same people? No. Oh. Oh, no, yeah. I would never have noticed that. I just, I, I didn't know if they cleaned up the audio or, mm -hmm. oh, wow, okay. That's now it all makes cool. sense. I always like pig a pen. A pig a pen? <laughs> pig a pen. <laughs> pig -a -pen. <laughs> 
Uh, Stunt Brain, welcome back to the show, sir. Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. You, you heard you guys talking about Trump canceling his uh, Israel trip this morning. Can I can I get my two cents? Yeah. Uh, I didn't read the blaze yet, but I'm just assuming they don't want him over there. And he's feeling the pressure, so he, he bailed. No more calls. We we have a winner. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we have, a, we have a reporter in Israel okay. who just is finishing up a story saying Netanyahu put out a statement last night rejecting Trump's remarks about Muslims and said Israel's fighting militant Islam, but you got 37 members of the Knesset, and that's a, that's a good chunk. That's about 25% of the Knesset saying, we don't want him here, and one guy's even trying to block him from entering Israel. Right. So it wouldn't be a, a comfortable meeting for Trump. So I think uh, his pulling out is convenient. Wow, that's a smart... You know, I never thought of that Israel with the shit they're dealing with. That's an embarrassing... That's an embarrassing rejection for him. Mm-hmm. That's fucking embarrassing. If they're coming out going, look look what we deal with, and we don't feel that way. Mm-hmm. He yeah. looks like a real goose. No, and they've I'll got, say. Uh, 16% of Israel is Muslim. So that, that would be a, a big problem. They'd all come out and probably protest. So it's uh, a smart move for Trump politically, but it's... It's obviously behind the curve on it. And England, there's a, there's a petition with over 300 signatures to ban him from coming to uh, Great Britain as well. Well, they're kind of cunty over there. What they, we really, they, you know where they ought to ban? The fucking imams that are helping radicalize half of these people. Boy, England's priorities stink. Well, England and France both have a problem with those imams. France shut down three mosques and went in and searched and found, oh, geez, a whole bunch of really bad stuff, including uh, weapons and ammunition for Kalishnikovs. So th- there are big problems in both England and France on that on that end. Yeah, but ban, but ban Michael Savage and Donald Trump. That's who you should keep out of England. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah. assholes. They stop it. More that. Yep. More importantly, are you going to uh, post uh, Darth Darth Trump on on the Blaze? Um, I think Darth Trump is, uh, as the front page editor told me today, uh, brilliant, but about four days old. Is it four days old? Yeah, it's been out. I think it came out Friday. It is brilliant. I, I haven't it. seen it, so I saw your tweet and I went, "Jesus!" Well, that's why that's why we're renaming the show "Day Late and a Dollar Short." <laughs> With a day late and a dollar short in the morning. I, I can't. Oh, we're going to use a dollar sign. Yeah. <laughs> It's seven minutes. That's the end. Seven. What? That's seven minutes of brilliant editing, that thing. It's really, really funny. I watched the entire thing. It's really, really worth uh, checking out. I'm starting to believe, though, that he put that audio in there. Like, at first I bought it, but then I'm like, I don't remember these stuff in the films. <laughs> these stuff. Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm tired, Stump Brain. Stump Brain, is uh, Trump getting more death threats? Uh, and what about his properties? Are they targets? I think they've had to up security at uh, especially high profile like Trump Tower in New York and Chicago, and he's got Secret Service protection now. Yeah, we we said that Jimmy. So, well, that uh, Jimmy reminded me that he, he has that. Trump will win no primaries is uh, the headline on MSNBC right now. I'm surprised they're taking an anti-Trump stance. Those guys are usually so <laughs> fair-minded. <laughs> and yet he was on for 40 minutes with them yesterday without commercial interruption. Was he really? Because yeah. he, he makes great TV. They're not stupid in that yeah. way. He's their best ratings. Uh, Trump support. Ah, oh, they just had a poll. I think thirty thirty eight. I think it went from thirty to thirty eight after what he said about Muslims. I think is that possible? Yeah, he's spiking in, especially among his base. Which and a lot of those are previously not not voters that participated in primaries. So he's bringing new blood to the primaries, and I think that worries the GOP, because they think, ah, the, the rank and file won't vote for him, but if he brings in enough new bodies, he could easily win the primaries. Uh, do you think he wins the presidency? No. So that no. means that it's a cakewalk for Hillary, like what I've been saying for a few weeks now? Yeah, and we still have a whole lot of time, Opie. You still got just a ton of time. I know, but we we keep talking about this Trump like it's uh, he's going to finally you know start going down the polls and he just gets stronger and stronger. Yeah, right now he's at one hundred and seven percent. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> That's, that looks pretty insurmountable. <laughs> so, so how does it? You know this game way better than me. How does this play out? How does, um, it, oh. <laughs> how does it play out in the end? What's your guess? 
Typically, it's a scandal or a policy that... Scandal? They, Look at all the shit he's saying. That's, that's scandals for everybody else. No, I'm talking personal scandals. So something would have to surface, which, you know, we know pretty much everything about him. But it's uh, what hurt Carson, and where you've seen Carson... Well, he was just getting old, though. I mean, you know, like... like the, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Different we're, Carson. Just, sorry, I apologize. Yeah. Go ahead. They showed how Carson really had no foreign policy chops. And he started sliding in the polls. Something like that's got to happen to Trump. He can't just say, we're going to make America great. We're going to defeat ISIS. He has to come up with concrete stuff. And if he does, then he'll hold. If he doesn't, he'll start having the same effect, or it'll have the same effect it's had on Carson. Well, I'll tell you the problem with Ben Carson. He talks too low. We're all tired of his stupid whisper voice. Mm-hmm. And his complete, he always sounds like he's fighting, like not being able to breathe. And that's why he's irritating. People well, don't like watching him talk. And he closes his eyes when he talks. Yes, he does. It's kind of bizarre. It's like you're watching a blind guy talk. And, well, and I think he's sliding pretty quickly now. You know, you know, you know why he closes his eyes, right? N- no. Have you seen his wife? <laughs> you knew I was going there. <laughs> she's brutal. Are you allowed to say she's brutal? In, in this day and age, are you allowed to say that his, his his wife's not a looker? I wouldn't judge her physicality. I don't I'm think sh- I would simply just say Al Roker is good looking. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure a- I'm sure she's a lovely. You know, you got to pepper her with that crap. She's a lovely lady. I'm, I'm sure. not sure of that but- I've never met her. She might be horrible. She might be a delight. I've never met the woman. I like how Jimmy thinks. Fuck it. <laughs> she's brutal to look at. Stunt brain. How about you do a whole uh, piece on that on on the blaze? Maybe we should do candidate spouses. I told dude. Hey, look, we I've said it. for years why not because the uh, they bring their stupid families out and this is all of them to show us how great they are but yet we can't make fun of their families well then stop carting your dumb families out and making us look at them yeah. if they're not if they're not going to be part of why we criticize if they're not going <laughs> to if they're not going to be part of why they, we criticize you don't make me look like you're a great guy if, I, 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 and this is with all candidates. Right. I want to see who they're, they're they're fucking every night. Like that to me says something about their judgment. Right. Trump so far is probably the clearest winner in history. <laughs> if you have to pick wives, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we did do a look uh, look here on the show at all of uh, the candidate, all the first ladies. Uh, yes, we. Did. Oh yeah, we did. We did a whole. That was because of Sherrod. retrospective. Yeah, uh, and then Sherrod had a lot to say about Ben Carson's wife yeah. as well. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I just, uh, anything else there, uh, Stunt Brain? That's it on the breaking news. I don't know if you... Uh, yeah, that's that's the big news today. I'm actually going to an auction <laughs> in Maryland today. They're selling a letter from Obama, yeah. a, a veteran. Oh, the vet, yes. Yeah, I'm going to go actually go to the auction and see uh, what happens with it. He can't afford his medical care, and the VA... Totally screwed him, said his injuries were minor, despite he was burned 70% of his body trying to save two other guys. How much does he need? Uh, well, the letter's going for three to four grand, and they're going to try and uh, make as much as they can. I think it'll go probably closer to ten, because it's handwritten letter from the first black president. And uh, there's rumors a couple groups are trying to buy it and then give it back to the family. I would hope so. That's what. How fucking embarrassing is that that a burned veteran has to sell his commendation letter from the president to fucking pay his uh-huh. medical bills? Or, unless that's unless he really needs it for other shit. Like all of a sudden, a new Trans Am shows up. Right. No. <laughs> Him and Jerry Reed go cross country to fucking bullet cores. <laughs> Speedier than that. Oh, no. He's a single dad with three kids. Oh my probably going to lose a leg. He got a bronze star with valor for what he did, and the VA is totally stiffing him. And uh, so the mom has to sell the handwritten letter Obama sent her, saying, "We're going to do everything we can to support your family." Wow. What's it, it says? Uh, what, I can't read the president. It's just uh, thank you for your vote. your valor. Note. note. Your, your service, notes, probably. maybe. What? It says, thank you for your note. We are grateful yeah. for your son's service, and Michelle and I intend to do everything we can over the next four years to support your family and other military families. God, God bless. bless Barack Obama. Obama. Wow, he wrote that to the mom, I see. Yeah, she complained, and he they emailed her, and she, she sent a letter to the White House saying an email response isn't enough. My son deserves better treatment. And he actually sent that handwritten note back to her in uh, July of 2009. And she said, it's been sitting in the drawer, and I realized we might be able to make some money and help my son. Why wouldn't you frame that in, in buying yeah. museum glass? I'm going to talk to this woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably framed down at the gallery. I'll be down there uh, at 10 o'clock today. It'll be auctioned off right about 11. Somebody should buy that and give it back to him. I guarantee you that's what someone is going to do. I, I hope so. I hope so. I'll, but I'm going to do uh, I did the story yesterday. I'll do a follow-up on it today. How much uh, do you think it's going to go for? I Two million? Ten. 
Oh, I 10, think, okay. 10 I think 10,000 and maybe it, hopefully more because it would be great for him. And I got to give the auction house a plug. They actually waive their fees to make sure this family gets as much money as possible. <clears throat> I was going to say, um, can we donate? Um, you know what would be cool, and I, I don't know if it's been done, if somebody put together like a GoFundMe account to make mo- to buy it and then give it to the family. Right. Uh, but I, I, there's been whispers of that on the web, but I haven't seen it yet. But that would be something really cool if someone put that together and give I, it to the family. Can I ask how you whisper on the web? Exactly. Yeah. How do you whisper on the web? How do you whisper on the web? Is, that, hey, is that what you did when you were on Silk Road trying to buy certain types of pornography? <laughs> uh, I would imagine. It's all lowercase. Are you... If all caps is shouting, wouldn't all lowercase be whispering? Yes. Uh, not necessarily. I think that's normal speech. Oh. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, we all talk uh, about patriotism and shit, and everybody yaps about how much we love the soldiers. This is, this is how much we love the soldiers. The VA fucks a guy who got burned. Unbelievable. It's terrible. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's terrible. It it's is an terrible. irritating story, but hopefully we'll get a, at least some resolution on the positive side today. Well, we'll follow the blaze to see how that all plays out. I enjoy uh, stunt brain stuff on the blaze. But how, by the way, before you go with uh, uh, Mike, how dumb is Scalia? Oh, my God. Uh, well, now, people are jumping on his comments, too. And saying, uh, like MSNBC is clarifying, classifying them as saying he believes black brains are inferior, which isn't really what he said. No. But it's, uh, he'll get roasted on this. They're trying to squeeze one more judge out of the court during Obama's term so they can sway the balance back to a uh, more liberal level. Well, he said Scalia, can you go back up one? He said, it's just something, Scalia said something about how blacks didn't benefit from affirmative action. They, they benefited from slower colleges and not. Now, was he talking about because they, that, that's the level they can handle or because when they were put in colleges that they weren't supposed to be in or forced in, the academic pressure got to them? Like, whatever, either way, it's a stupid thing to fucking say. And I think people should roast him for it because He's a, he's a guy who makes policy. He's not a guy who just can, is speaking his mind. He's a guy that makes decisions on the Constitution that affect everybody. I believe he said suggested that black students benefit from a slower track at less prestigious schools and are thus harmed by affirmative action. That's a ridiculous the argument. Comments come during a time. Okay, blah blah blah. Yeah, there's a case up for a case on affirmative action that's currently being uh, adjudicated in front of. The oh, that's a, that's court. inappropriate. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> that's, I, I apologize for the stangles. It's uh, Hanukkah. Something about. About the Jews. I don't Sorry, know. vacuous sloganeering here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Judicated. Yeah. What the hell is that? Now we have to worry about more stuff from you guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But we'll see. I think there's going to be a lot of sand raised about Scalia today. You'll see it uh, kick into high gear. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you uh, one other thing, too? Sure. Are you guys following the, uh, the story out of uh, Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania College? Students at a small Pennsylvania college want Lynch Hall renamed because of the racial overtones of the word Lynch. You know, I even though know. it's a person's you know, last name. Yeah, I'm the we former president. Six stories a day. I'll have to look, but that's a fantastic one. So thanks for the tip. If not, because, yeah, they don't like that, the fact that Lynch. They thought had race, the, the overtones because of the word Lynch, and uh, they you know again the little the baby boys and girls, the widow babies. They don't like it. And Will was, they be showing David Lynch films? I don't know. And how are they going to oh, describe my cock if you can't have anything? Because, you know, people were hung. Get it? <laughs> oh, we should have went to break on that. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Well, let me see what I got on this for you, Stunt Brain. I'll do the work for you. Thank you. Students at a small Pennsylvania college demanding uh, rename a building called Lynch Memorial Hall because the racial overtones of the word Lynch. Desitin on my hiney. Desitin on my hiney. Yeah. We put that video up. It's, it's amazing. Making me laugh a lot. Oh, I haven't seen that. I'm always embarrassed to watch my stuff, as I should be. It's a, it's very fun. Uh, Jimmy came up with a wonderful uh, chant for all the college kids out there. It's called Desitin on my hiney. Yes, because they're little babies. It explains everything that's going on on the college campuses. The building is named after Clyde A. Lynch, who was president of Lebon, uh, Lebanon, sorry, geez, Lebanon Valley College from 1932 until his death in 1950. Oh, God bless him. What happened? <laughs> Students want school official, uh, officials to either rename the building entirely or add Lynch's first name and middle initial, saying the word recalls the public executions of black men by white mobs in the late 1800s and early 1900s. I I think... This is going too far, this, my friend. This is fantastic. I, I found the story now. Thank you. I'm, I'm going after it. The, How about think, credit goes to the opster? 
I'll, I'll a little credit goes to the opster. A hat tip at the bottom to Opie Radio, and we'll link to whatever you got to your uh, electrocuted Trump video. That fucking thing uh, threw together, and it's 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 everywhere now. Yeah, you're being you're being stolen. I know they they. Steal oh, is that it. your video? The Trump yes, being electric- oh, they, yeah, I've they seen stolen it. and put it everywhere now. It was included on a list of demands that students presented to the school on Friday. Other demands include a more diverse uh, curriculum, uh, more sensitivity training for staff. Mm-hmm. Very regular- important. I agree. I'm in agreement so far. And regular surveys of the racial climate on campus. What a- what happened to going away to college and finding a fucking keg party? Absolutely. What is going on, Stump? Desitin on my hiney. Desitin on my hiney. Yay! Yay! You absolutely nailed it. Do you re- you might remember this, David the intern? Didn't his father come in with him to interview? Um, well, David when, might have been a different case than most people of that age. Yeah. yeah, but there's a lot of helicopter parents who are now who've raised this this group of uh, entitled kids who want everything to be perfect and can't see conflict. So they grow up without any sort of training to deal with adversity, both physically and mentally and emotionally. No, 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 you're right, but David might be a different case I of somebody whose dad was afraid if he didn't walk in with him, he'd fall off the spectrum, yeah. if you know what I mean. <laughs> Read <laughs> between the lines. I got you. But, uh, he but was still on what, a leash when we met him for the product, first time. All this. Huh? It's decades of, of all the coddling, and all of this is now coming home to roost, and so we're stuck with, with microaggressions. Have you seen the trigger warnings on college campus course uh, yes thank god for those i totally agree with them i I believe in microaggression and trigger warnings you should be warned if something might upset somebody what is that i i I didn't see the story that was very aggressive of you i'm sorry i i didn't mean to cross this is a safe space Justin. i'm sorry there's a, uh, a couple of photos of college courses that things like how to do uh statistics and marketing analysis and at the bottom of the course description they actually list trigger warnings and in the case of this one it says capitalism so if capitalism is going to upset you yeah. you don't want to take this class wow people i i can't imagine getting upset by these trigger words well so weird that's cuz you you grew up you, you did exactly what you're talking about you went to college and actually had a life and learned how to survive none of these people know how to survive so they're all taking folk dancing uh, PhDs and, and have no contribution to give because they have no common sense or common skills. I don't know. To me, a trigger warning is very important. There's nothing worse than seeing a young person upset. A young mind deserves to be molded and handled with great care and comfort. Yeah. I don't like to see a young mind upset. And then they go back and live with their parents. Well, I think uh, we, all, we all knew when you went away to college, that was it. The free ride was over. Yeah, now, well. Although I snuck a summer, uh, you know, I snuck a summer in. I took a free ride till I was 30. I snuck a summer in. I I did go back into my parents' house for a little bit, but uh, I knew the clock was ticking and I had to fucking get out there and do my thing. Well, they changed the rules. Obamacare makes you now uh, a dependent on your parents' insurance until you're 26. Right. Mm. So that added eight years to the delay. Uh, here we go. New national poll, uh, Stump Brain, I'll do this as you're on the phone. Republicans, choice for 2016 nominee. Trump dominates. So Trump was at 22% October 27th. He's now at 35%. Uh, Cruz moving up though. He was 4%. He's now 16% in second place. And then Ben Carson is doing the slow fade. He was 26% in October. He's now at 13%. And uh, Rubio staying flat in fourth place, and Bush going down again. Bush is down to three percent. Bush has spent forty to fifty million dollars on campaign ads already. His super PAC, and he's been going down. That is not a good sign. So, when do you think he pulls out, or what do you think he does next? I think he's going to try and stay through Super Tuesday because he's counting on some sort of meltdown in the Trump farm. Right. He's a douche. <laughs> he's a douche. Just get out. People have spoken. They're bored with your family. I don't, I don't hate the Bushes, but I'm bored with them and the Clintons both. Uh, fucking beat it. God <laughs> almighty, it's not a monarchy. Two stupid fucking family names. Bush, Clinton, Clinton, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Senator Clinton, President Bush, President Clinton. Go fuck yourselves. Let somebody else have a shot, would you? It annoys me. 
Yeah, it's getting so bad now. The wife is getting involved. Holy What's shit! That who else? Oh, here's my here's our babysitter's nephew. He likes <laughs> right. to run for Congress. What? Do you... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just tired of both of those families. I want them I, gone. I think you got your headline for the blaze this morning, uh, Stunt Brain. I do. Thank push, you for the push uh, is a the douche. headline. That's no, it. no, oh, the push one. is a douche. <laughs> right on the front page, please. Oh, well, I'll put quotes around it at least because I can't I can't just leave it without attribution. I'll take full responsibility for it. <laughs> Very good. And Donald Trump just. Uh, tweet it again. God, we love following his Twitter. Wow, my poll numbers have just been announced and have gone through the roof. <laughs> he just loves patting himself on the yeah, back. Yeah, he's going to come off as arrogant. You think? Yeah, eventually. Oh, sure. Eventually. And now he's saying, I love the Middle East. I love the people. Just not going there till after I'm elected president. Yeah. But if he's elected president, he won't be allowed in Israel, right? Well, they'd have to ban him, but you'll see what what happens after. Yeah, it would be a tough trip. He would have Netanyahu it. says we don't we don't deny heads of state who visit and request a visit. They yeah. can't deny him. They, they again they, they they allow so many other people in. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that was really stupid of me to say because huh. <laughs> I had no facts to back it up. I just, <laughs> I just said something. Just my fucking cake hole opened up and fucking words fell out of it. <laughs> All right, stump brain. You like the peanuts? Uh, I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, yes. Happy, what was it, 50th anniversary last night? For what, the uh, Peanuts? Yeah, the Charlie Brown Christmas, 50 years ago yesterday. And that was on free TV? I didn't have to pay for it? Yeah. Fuck. I didn't know that. <laughs> 50 fucking My kid years. was watching the, the Wiz. That thing was horrible. With, with, with Richard Pryor? Uh, I don't know. Did it was on, no, Diana Ross? It was on NBC. The, the, with, li the live musical that was on last week. Yeah, with that bra that doesn't age. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know. I forgot her name. Um, oh, Miss Dionne Warwick? Was she in that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have fucking had enough of that cadaver. <laughs> She's like a mummy, Dionne Warwick. She is a mummy. The, the Black Wiz scares me. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> just scares me. This is a newer one. I like the older one. It's the new one they just had on NBC, and it was it's it's that broad. She's in everything, and uh, Queen Latifah's Queen in Latifah. It. That's Mary what I was Jane thinking Blige. about. It was Queen Latifah. She doesn't age. Latifah was the wizard. David Allen Greer was the lion. Yep. I think Shanice Williams was Dorothy. Yeah, Common was in it. Who is he? I'm going to guess he's one of the male characters. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's I don't good, know. Good guess. Yeah. I watched The Wizard of Oz recently, Mike, and uh, at the very end, I only saw part of it, but I got weepy-eyed. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. I'm having a mental breakdown in my it's 40s. Okay. It's it was not okay, ever. What was the scene again that got you weepy-eyed? I don't, I don't remember. When um, she was finally going home or something? Maybe, yeah. Maybe when she was going home. I don't remember. And what like, is it? Whatever it is, it's, it's hateable. Whatever it is, it makes me hateable. Yeah. And what did you do before you watched The Wiz? I'm guessing, I, I don't even remember, but I'm going to guess I had a finger hooked in my asshole when I was doing something I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> you paid for someone to, um... What? Was it, uh... Oh, you're just re remembering back to what he told us? Yeah, I don't yeah. remember, dude. I think you paid for someone to urinate on you, and then you came home and watched the... <laughs> the Wiz. The Wiz. <laughs> which, so which, ironic, yes, yeah, I, ironic, believe, I understand. I like that you had a theme. <laughs> thank, God Link, thank, God, thank God Lincoln's log cabin wasn't on, which was a totally different evening. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I like oh that you God. have theme nights, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. All right, well, I thanks. listen. All right, Stump Brain, we're thank babbling you, now. Thank you, sir. We go to the Blaze, and we check it out every once in a while. I thank do, because you. you're over there. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, yeah, good. See you the 31st of March, Jimmy. I have to wait that long for Philly. Jeez. Oh, you're going to come in Philly? I'm doing the uh, that room. In that, I forget the name of the room. but uh, the Fox Theater or something like that. It's some big place. Fox Theater's in Connecticut. March 31st in uh, Philly. That is... Um, Correct. The Fillmore. The Fillmore. The Fillmore. That's what it was an F. But I'll, uh, I'll be there. Okay, Take care, well, guys. That's the one tickets. you're going to? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you buy them. No, I'll get them tickets. No, no, no freebies. I don't want my friends to do that. You know, I'll, I'll be happy to count my friends. I say make it hurt. Make I've, them buy them. <laughs> I've always paid to see Jimmy. Does that mean I'm not your friend? You never asked me for tickets. I'd be happy to get you tickets. No, I'd like to support you. I've oh, seen you All right, Stump Brain. Thank you. Take uh, care. JimNorton.com for all the tour dates. This is a biggie. Yeah, except for DC will go on sale in a couple of weeks. But but it is going on sale. That That should not have been put up yet. Okay. And um, everyone could start buying tickets today at ten. Ten a.m. Yeah. Can they still use the code? You won't. You won't need it. And uh, a lot of oh, the commercials you can't are buy kicking tickets in right now. 
Yeah, uh, I don't as, know if you can or not. Live right here. I'm not sure if you can. It might have only been a 12 hour thing. I don't know. Okay, so uh, here's the headline: 10 o'clock today. The tickets go on sale for everybody, and you can go to jimnorton.com to see all the uh, cities he's going to and all the places. Right? Yeah, bunch of them. Is that it? Yeah, and except for Vegas this weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, we got Mike Cannon coming in. I don't know Mike Cannon. He's here. He's ready to go as soon as we come back. Well. Oh, Mike Cannon, and uh, for the first time on our show, gonna say hi to him, and we'll do some other things. So you stay there. We got uh, Mike Cannon outside the studio for the yes. first time on the show. I hear good things about this Mike Cannon. I don't know. You know him, Jimmy? We I don't think we've met until just now. What's up, Mike Cannon? How you doing? Man? Welcome. Thanks for having me. Have we met before or no? We have once a couple years ago. Hi, buddy. Okay, where was it, you know? Comic strip. I was oh, okay. Because like your face looked really familiar when I saw you out there. I'm like, I don't know where we've met or how, if we have. Or if it's just that. Yeah. Welcome, buddy. Thanks for having me. Uh, no, no worries. Oh, I, I got distracted because uh, me and Travis especially love when Noel Gallagher acts up. Yeah, sure. Uh, and he's blasting Adele's album as cheesy music for fucking grannies. <laughs> that's, that, that's the headline. <laughs> is that the best? Yeah. This guy don't give a fuck. Is there anything else in that article, Travis? No, that's pretty much it. That's it? Yeah, I mean, people are asking him about Adele, and he's giving his honest opinion. He goes, uh, he was not polite. He said, if someone wants to know what I think of Adele, I'll fucking tell them. I just don't see what all the fuss is about. I don't like her music. I think it's music for, for fucking grannies. I don't know if they asked him, he's got the right to answer. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I went to pretend. I went and saw Adele. She's a talent. I bet, yeah. She seems like it. I saw the, I heard the isolated vocals from Saturday Night Live. Did you hear that? No. no. They removed all the music. It was fucking unbelievable. And she's she great. still sounds great. She sounds unreal. Is she better yeah. than Yoko, though? Because they isolated her vocals. <laughs> her vocals isolated were good. She had a lovely ring to it. <laughs> Linda McCartney is the, the worst of all oh, time, though. God. They, uh, they did that with Fetty Wap, too, recently, actually. Fetty Wap? Who's yeah, Fetty Wap? Yeah, that, uh, the 1738. That rapper with the missing eye. Oh, okay. Oh, God. And they, yeah, and he's all auto tuned and shit, and then they removed that on like the BET Awards, and he just sounded like he was having an aneurysm. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it was Is that out there somewhere? Somewhere, yeah, for it, sure. Oh, we got to find that. Let, I don't let, know him. Let me see the Adele thing. So it's just her voice isolated. Let me see. Let me hear a little bit of this. Yeah. Look at Mike Cannon giving us material right off the bat. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> What'd she sing? What'd this pig sing? <laughs> <laughs> I would go with the Hello song, maybe. Yeah. She was unbelievable. It's a nice song to open with, too, because you come right out, you're greeting the audience, hello. I right. mean, what a lovely way to start a show. <laughs> did I tell you what I said? I went to the table. You did, but I blocked it out like a molesting memory. I didn't want to hear it. I, uh, I Look, Mike, mm -hmm. we're just meeting, but I've never downloaded any Adele music, so stop looking at me like that. All right? I know she's a talent, though. I, I understand talent. Uh, so she comes out with Hello for the big NBC show that's going right. to be on maybe next week or something. I actually uh, turned to my wife and said, I think she's going to do it again later. <laughs> oh, oh, she went for the repeat. <laughs> she didn't, though. No. Oh, okay. Hope but was that, was, that was my line. I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of cool that she comes out and says hello to everybody with her hello song. The only acceptable <laughs> answer for your wife to give would be I'm calling a divorce lawyer. <laughs> that would be the acceptable answer to that remark. But I was a bit of, a, a, of an excited boy, and I go, I think she might do it again. Because oh, yeah. how can you start with the big song Did like she that? agree with you? Ah, she was just like, ugh, shut up. She is one of those women. <laughs> she's one of those women that's so talented that regardless of how she looks, I would gladly have sex with her. She's looking better these days. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if I could fuck her. I might worship her feet if she had nice big chubby feet that had a good stink to them. I don't think I could fuck her. I think what gives it away, which would make it rough, is the voice. In between songs, whew, she talks yeah. like a trucker. Oh, really? Is oh, it, you don't know this. It's like, thank you. And all the, all uh, that, yeah, but yeah. but she says <laughs> fuck, and she was talking about belching and farting on stage oh, in between okay, songs. Then she took her shoes off, and you just could imagine how sweaty her, yeah, oh, nice. her feet were. Musky, Three yes. fetishes in a row you just hit for <laughs> <Good> girl. <laughs> Fucking had a girl. She was getting a lot of laughs, though. She's got some uh, some comedic timing, for, for sure. She's the female John Mayer. She was pretty fucking fun. <laughs> oh, really? He does all that? Yeah, hey, John does stand-up. No, I know he does stand-up, but does he talk in between, <laughs> in between songs? Okay. Yeah, for sure. In between crooning. But she's like, I'm going to kick off my shoes, and she was getting big laughs. I don't know. So it was, all right, let's see the, uh, let's hear this. The isolated vocals, no music. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet 
to go over. I don't like the way she says wondering. No. By the way, it's, it's, she's very good. Voice is cracking. But I, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't wondering. Technique is what, is, off. what is wondering? I was wondering. Ooh. Fucking, she's a car. She's <laughs> yeah. well, Reginald Van Gleeson. I was wondering. <laughs> Can I hear? Oh, there's a string of Palapanes. <laughs> Rachel, I've come back. <laughs> Let me hear wondering. <laughs> Let me hear wondering again. <laughs> wondering. <laughs> You should like to go back. Sorry, to we go run. Me. What? I was wondering. <laughs> <if I'm dead. laughs> I hate how she says that. <laughs> and speaking of fucking young Michael from The Wire, that's Tristan Wilds. That's the guy in our video as we tie this fucking shit All show right. up nicely. Very good. Um, <laughs> that's right. You're 100% right. Let me hear a little bit more. A little. We don't have to do the whole thing. Wondering. <laughs> it's going to make me laugh all day. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal ya. I ain't done much healing. Hello. Was that healing? It was, yeah. How did she say it? Healing. Healing. Wait, great. go back to healing. She, she almost hid the end so it didn't sound like she was saying the same word twice. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't done much heating. Hello. <laughs> he ding. He ding. She sounds like fucking Pacino in Dog Day Afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I love you more than any man has ever loved another man. Oh, we found a fucking nugget here. Oh, today. no, she's got a great speech impediment, like a Michael fucking Buble thing. I think she goes <laughs> deaf. Oh, for certain words, also he. he that's how you would say it. I think. Maybe I she had. Well, she was wooing, <laughs> doing. <laughs> she does have a voice like an angel. Uh, no, uh, but certain words. Yes. Little, let me hear. Body that like a rhino, but a voice <laughs> like an angel. <laughs> oh my god. The machine. Hello. Can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger mm -hmm. and free. It's a sick voice. I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell at our feet. You know how bad we are? We're only listening now to and waiting for her to fuck up another one. Of course. Word. That's <laughs> yeah. how bad we are. One we're not more. we're not enjoying this and we're just waiting <laughs> for the slip, slip up. up. I want yeah. another impediment right, to make itself apparent. There's not much left in the in this uh, video, so let's listen. Such a difference. Difference! It's a <laughs> There's a difference! <laughs> a difference? It's a difference! <laughs> she took the R out. Something's really wrong here today. She took the fucking R out. <laughs> Can't take the fucking R out? <laughs> you put the, go back. She said difference. To difference. Difference. Where's the R? Between us and the Between us. What was that? What was that between word? us. Difference that was between, between us. us? Difference between us. Wait, go back to difference and between us. She should right. be singing. Ding, fries are done. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, well, that the difference between us and mm -hmm. the million miles. What? <laughs> I don't know what that last part was. Hello. 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 Oh, a voice like an angel, though. Gets you right there. I'm pointing at my asshole for people. Know. That really annoys me. Between wait, uh, What did she fuck up? She fucked up a difference between uh, us. Um, I don't I don't know. It got a little weird there. I'm not going to lie to you. It got a little weird. Hello from the other side. Oh, she says hello. 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 I noticed that one <laughs> yes. with the music. She's, hello, she Laverne. Doesn't, she doesn't yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. God damn it. We need a pig in here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we need a fat girl with a speech impediment. Hello. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Let me hear hello again. The other side. I must have called. <laughs> Hello. 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 Always at the right Carmine Ragusa would say, I need to fuck a fat 
pig. Hello. <laughs> God damn it, though. This fucking monster sure can belt out a tune. Oh, boy. God damn her. And Brian Queens Fuck. is a little confused by what you said about Adele. We're gonna Hello. Go to, we'll go to him in a second. Can we get to the end? Look, there's not much left. Yeah, just a little bit more. Jesus. At least I can say that I'm trying to tell you I'm sorry for breaking your heart, but it don't matter. It clearly doesn't tear you apart anymore. Man. Yeah, that's very good. I well, mean, she has a fucking stellar voice. If she could just speak the language properly, I would have, I'd be fucking all in with Adele. She pronounces the words better when she belts it out. Yeah. She so slows it down. There's some things going on there. She's like selective British accent uh, on a few of those. How difference, but it's not even Hello. British. Yeah, difference. I never heard. That's almost. Maybe that singers do that to make. Right. Yeah. I don't know. We mess up syllables sure. or something. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. do that as stand-ups. Yeah, I'm sure it's some kind of technique. Thing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found the vocals only on Fetty Wap. All right, we're gonna go there in a second. But this guy is confused by what Jim Norton just said. Brian, oh, no. please go ahead. Hi, Jimmy. Hello, sir. Hi, so you're unsure if you'll fuck this phenomenally talented woman, but you will fuck a gentleman, I mean a lady with a 10-inch dick. Um, well, I, and I do appreciate you understanding the parameters of the search I normally do. <laughs> so yes, talent doesn't keep your dick hard, sir. I don't care how good a girl can sing when I'm fucking her. You ever eat a girl's ass and go, quick, I need you to hum so I can make myself hum. <laughs> I don't care what her talents are. But miss, you're disgusting and your pussy stinks. I won the spelling bee. Oh, you didn't say, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, talent means nothing to me, sir, when I'm fucking. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I was just I was just a little confused. All right. All right. Less confused. God now. bless. All right. I've been confused for All a long right. time. I, I understand. Uh, we got Mike Cannon in the studio, and he's off to a great start uh, turning us on to the Adele. Yeah, that Thank was you, a Mike. that was a good one. I, I actually I liked when she really kicked it into gear. It's like, yeah, right. She's fucking phenomenal. Right. God damn it! I'd love her to <laughs> coo that into my ear. But that was two minutes ago. Now what do you got? Yeah, uh, what now the, what do you got? Any more yeah. fancy now what you audio? I think the Fetty Wap thing. Yeah, yeah. we could try it. the Fetty Wap. Did you <laughs> yeah. find the Fetty Wap? You're like Buddy walking into Gordon Gecko's office with the Blue Star <laughs> fucking uh, insider airline stuff. Now what do you got? <laughs> We're looking for the Fetty Wap, just the vocals only. Uh, you I never heard of Fetty Wap. Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, he's. It's stripper music. Like that's oh. what. That's what a lot of the rap is now. Instead of like any lyrical music, it's. Uh, it's. They're right. basically trying to make strippers rich, and I think that's how they pop off. Sean Paul. We talked about him yesterday with Cypher Sounds. It was Sean Paul's music, like, is like mm -hmm. you'll hear, like, oh my god, that's strip club music. Oh yeah, but it's really good. So I don't, I don't mind sort of strip well, even like even like Rihanna with the that would up that would up like it's literally a video of throwing dollar bills at bouncing asses. Oh. So it's one hundred percent made to just you know, right. she's so, releasing. By the way, that make it rain shit. The rappers are so dumb. Stop throwing your money at it. You don't get to cop a feel. Like what was better than like rubbing your fingers along the ass cheeks and putting the dollar in and copping a good feel? <laughs> and then you and you take one crisp dollar oh, at yeah. a time. Yeah. Make sure that this, it's not stuck to another dollar and go, here you go. Or maybe this, this is for your tie. If it was a fiver that opened the front and you get to put it in. Yeah, maybe you get to put it in, hope yeah. your knuckle fucking gets to drag under the clit a little bit. But instead, they're just like... <laughs> Yeah. I, had, I had some real brutal strip clubs where I'm from, so it's like fucking... Where are you it, from? I'm from Rockland County. I actually went to Geneseo, though. I really? know you did as well. I right? don't even want to know what year. It's, uh, I graduated... I said I don't want to know <laughs> the year. Want to know Two, know after the year. 2000, I did. <laughs> yeah. Younger yeah. man. He's what year? What year? Uh, oh, 07. He doesn't want to know oh, the my year. God. Yeah. So you went to a completely different school than me. I think so, yeah. I, when I went, it was, a, it was a, just a major drinking school that made no lists. And now this Geneseo, every, when, when people here I went to Geneseo, they're like, wow, Geneseo. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, it's very I prestigious now. And I laugh at these people. I'm like, do you know what this fucking place used to be? Yeah, I mean, I did two years of junior college. I played basketball okay. for my first two years. And I got hurt. And then I went there. And I turned it into that drinking school. Like, I did absolute dick all at Geneseo. It was brutal. Although I was proud. A lot of people sent me the article on Twitter. We had a guy recently in, at Geneseo. I, I follow the... Uh What's going on up there? And a, a drunk guy uh, stole an ambulance and yeah, had, yeah. had a good ride around town. 
<laughs> so I'm like, okay, it's still in the fabric of the place. Yeah, I think the uh, local towny bar was uh, recently lit on fire. I know that too. one too yeah. on Main Street. Uh, yeah, uh, now we're getting Kelly's. Kelly's, yeah, yeah, with the sand floor. Yeah. I was there on my 21st birthday and had like 25 shots of Soco. Walked in, took a triple of Goldschlager, and like they lit it on fire, and I blew the fire all over the bar. Really? Yeah, it was pretty. And was the pretty sand ridiculous. floor up there because they they were sick of the puke, so they, they, that's how they they soak up the puke up there. Yeah. Oh wow! Most of the bars had sand floors. Yeah, it was like hillbilly kitty litter. They're pretty much, they yeah. just throw that shit around like fuck it. We'll just mop. You know, we'll just Do people vomit on the floors a lot. Oh my all god! When I went yeah. there, th- mostly that- women. Uh, it was four to one women to guys. Like, did you have that too? Because it was like largely it was women it was, to men. But it was way worse. They were fucking. It, it yeah. was also three to one pigs to like mediocre looking women. Yeah, you know, but yeah. you, you gotta. Hey, what's the difference? As our fraternity used to say, <laughs> you had to stick a pig every once in a while. <laughs> sure. There were a lot more women than uh, uh, men that went to Geneseo over the years because it was a teaching college back in the mm-hmm. day, and it never changed the numbers around. But but I remember it was like. Uh, before vacation, it was five dollars all you could drink, and they gave you a glass, <laughs> an actual glass, and then you just fill it up for, for the, yeah. the rest of the night. And I remember walking back to the dorms. I had lived in uh, Onondaga, get, going okay. real local, and you would see kids and, and passed out just everywhere. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, everywhere because they yeah. got so fucking drunk, just sleeping on the side of buildings and in the middle of that field oh, and yeah. all that crap. It was crazy. I don't think much changed, actually, with the academic standing, regardless. Well, it, it was the same shit. Yeah. I don't know. 2007, that's a, it makes, it, that's a more impressive. <laughs> if, if. Well, I didn't even gra- I, I found out, so I transferred, and then I did the entire two years. I had the advisor. She, like, walked me through every class that I needed. Uh, I, I was on the roll for the graduation, walked, or didn't walk, but I, I got my shit, all that stuff. And then a year later, they sent me some letter that said I didn't graduate, and the one class I'm missing is public speaking, which is what that's I do funny. for a living right now. That's yeah. very funny. Yeah. That, that, so, so and they asked me they're like so do you want to come back and like spend more money on classes I was like how about I write wait. like a dissertation on stand up comedy and they're like no and I said fuck so you so they, they really they want you to go back to actually take the class yeah they said I could do an online thing but again it's like 1200 bucks and I'm like first of all I was working in an office already that thought I graduated from there so I was like why the fuck would I ever and why would I ever give you more money you so, don't need it so yeah. that so that nightmare people have actually happened to you yeah like every once in a while you, you have a weird nightmare like you're not going to graduate college College or whatever, and mm-hmm. you're gonna be short credits, or you're not gonna make it to your finals. All those yeah. dumb dreams a lot of us have had, and you actually it actually happened. Yeah, to that's you. after taking yeah. a fucking Spanish class over the summer. I took one over winter break. I like did all the things necessary to really graduate, according to my advisor. And then a wow. year later, they told me to go fuck myself. How old are you? Thirty one. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. Where are you at with safe spaces? I want to get to know you. Safe spaces. Yeah. Where are you at? Because you're in that weird age. I don't. Know, what does that mean? In safe college. space. All right. All right. You're good. Yeah. If you don't know what it means, then you're They're the college of safe spaces. Safe spaces. Oh, is that Where right? The students, you know, can, can be you, safe. Can you imagine Geneseo Yikes. having a safe space? No. <laughs> of course not. No. That, 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 is that like from racial tension or from sexual stuff? Or what, is well, that just all you, of the above? That's what you would think for something horrific. But mm-hmm. it's language and it's all sorts of other oh, bullshit Jesus. stuff. They want a, a safe campus. <clears throat> they don't want to hear, you know... Uh, trigger words, and and, and uh, they don't want to see outrageous ho- Halloween costumes. These are some of the things recently. Oh yeah, they don't want to public <laughs> speakers out of campus recently, right? Because they're scared of yeah. Of they don't want to see a bleeding. building that is named Lynch. Jesus. Even even though that's the guy's last name, right? Things like that. Uh, we found Fetty Wap. Mm-hmm. All right. So what's the story on this? This is just his isolated vocal. Yeah, he's just a you know he's this auto tune guy that people are really into, and it shows the the discrep- the you know contrast of talent. I guess. I'm surprised. I would expect more. <laughs> from, from Fetty Fetty Lap. Yes, it's a little different than what we uh, heard from Adele. Yeah. I'm assuming. All right, let's listen to this. Seventeen thirty. Oh, this is even better than the one I'm I like, heard. Hey, what's up? Hello. Sit your pretty ass as soon as you came in the door. I just want to chill. Got a sack for us to roll. Married to the money. Introduced it to my store. There was a different one I was listening to. That's not that bad, no, is it? No, that, that because that was still manipulated and auto-tuned to shit. There's one of it, like a concert, I think it was, where they... Oh, okay. Yeah, we just had it. The last from Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Where's the clip? Is this it? Worst performance ever. This okay. might be. Is this fake or real? This is the one, yeah. 
This is fake, right? No, this is for real. Wait a minute, is this dubbed? Let me ask is you. it one of those things we've seen over the years? It sounds like when they do those things where you're shredding a guitar. Yeah, that's the best um, one. <laughs> they, you ever see the shredding videos where they take like Eddie Van Halen and some guy dubs in hideous guitar sounds, <laughs> but it's timed favorite. out right? It looks that's good. Hilarious. I wonder if they did that to this guy. Is this good? It I, sounds like something uh, is. I don't. I, it seems. Uh, I'm guessing it's real. I think I, he at likes first his I thought drugs. it was fake, but. Played your recent videos of the Apple Store in full volume. Everyone around me died of laughter. Oh, so I guess maybe it is. So then. maybe it is. Uh, maybe they did throw it together. I don't know. Yeah, go click on his YouTube channel. See if he has other things. That he, yeah, because right I would there, always say Freddie Wap, voice like an angel. You just click on his <laughs> name. <laughs> it just gets yeah, me. He's a master singer. He's a master singer. I love it. My butt out to work it. And if my real ain't real. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this yeah is that's this what this guy shit. does. All right, he does I've that. I've been duped. That's You've what this guy, the cosmic, yeah. does. He takes these weird uh, videos of people's mouths and he makes it sounds. But he, he did it with Ariana Grande. Yeah, well, Grande. The, the best it? ones are the shredding. Oh my god! Yeah. What, which are the ones we saw over the years? The Eddie Van Halen. Van Halen. One. And wasn't there, wasn't there one from um, the guy that went nuts? Uh, Troy just sent us one from the Beach Boys. I get around. The Beach. Oh, that's a good one. I know that one. Really? Can I see yeah. this? Yeah, it's good. We've all heard that song. How smoking hot is Ariana Grande, though? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I like her better. Tiny, I though. like to eat her ass in a donut shop <laughs> while she's fucking bashing her own fans. <laughs> she looks like she should be used as, like, methadone for pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah, she's wonderful. I met her once. She wanted nothing to do with me. No? No. Nah, not I at all. I can't believe that. No, nah, I know. Hard to imagine. My You're, charisma didn't rub off. <laughs> you were on Leno together, right? <laughs> yeah. But she didn't I, give you anything. She gave me a uh, We took she a photo. She said hi, right? I yes. like her and Selena Gomez. Yeah. You know, yeah. adult yeah. women of age that look I like Selena that. Gomez. Yes. She's uh, pretty, pretty easy on the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd like her to queef in my face. I wouldn't mind a little fart in the yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. A little stinker. <laughs> While you're eating her box, she drops a stinker in your mouth. And she's all embarrassed, but yeah. I'm like, more. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Really? Yeah, that's all right. Is this the one? No, you let me look for it first. I'll let you know. <laughs> all right, we'll keep talking over here. <laughs> that's the one I just sent you, Eric, right there. Uh, this yeah. Is this it? Shred, I get around. Okay. I love these. So there's like things. a 30-second ad in our ad bro blocker. Right. Do we have an ad blocker? Oh, no, we don't have an ad blocker. Why? Why not? We've been asking for And when that. we're done with this, I want to ask Mike about his conspiracy. Of course. Podcast. That's cool. Oh, yeah. It's a good concept. I like when someone does a podcast that's a little different, Mike. Yeah, it's quite for niche. You. Are you a big Alex Jones guy? I'm not personally. I mean, I, I'm i big into corruption and stuff like oh, that. Okay. One of my guys on the podcast is a 53-year-old truther who doesn't believe anything has ever happened. Oh. Pretty much like during San Bernardino, he already was calling it an, a fake and, you know, actors and all that. Really? Oh, yeah, for sure. And he really believes that. Yeah, 100%. I, 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 is that a mental illness? Like, like, <laughs> no, no, I'm not even making fun I, of the guy, but I'm though. saying, is there, is there, is that the, to be able to convince yourself that a live shooting is not? Yeah. Well, I think most of these guys, like, I, I joke about this a lot, but, it, you know, he had some internal trauma. Yeah. So I think in order to not look internally, he's focusing all of his anger and all of his shit on the outside world yeah, and, sure. you know, not inside where the real 9 11 happened. Right. Okay. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm at a, I'm, I fall like I don't believe everything the government tells me, but sure. but not to the point where there's actors and black ops and no. I mean, who he, auditioned he, for the Sam Bern Now, who auditioned for that? Uh, and did right. they hold open auditions? Right. Did was it a which casting director? Is it a was union used? job? Is it a union uh, no. job? Will they be getting residuals? Mm -hmm. He told me the Boston bombing. Uh, nobody got hurt. Nobody. Uh, nobody died or whatever. And he it, believes that. Yeah, and I was like, dude, that's what? the most impressive one take in Hollywood history. <laughs> right. And also, it's ignoring the actual conspiracy, which after the fact they turned into entire city into martial law and entered people's homes at gunpoint so uh, what about the lady that lost the leg the dancer yeah, oh i think she had already lost that leg that's what he would say yeah something like that see that's almost like that's it, crazy it's childlike a lot of that stuff it's not even i don't even it's not even genuine to me it's 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 uh it's not an adult mentality it's a coping mechanism i think i, I think they can't handle that something like that could actually it's a control thing Maybe. you think yeah 
Yeah, I mean, it, initially he was all about, you know, the gun, the shootings being set up for a gun grab. Mm-hmm. But, uh, right. you know, now he's trying to change his tune since I've constantly brought up that no legislation has been introduced. And, and you do the show with him uh, weekly? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you guys, uh, but you good, genuinely like him as a guy? He's he's a really good guy. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, he's he's very troubled. But, yeah, typically I'm. I'm he's very troubled. I'm, uh, I'm pretty high while we record just like to anesthetize myself to just kind of even be on his level at some point. I might have to check out your podcast. I'm kind of. Sick, What's it called? Sick of podcast Deep inside the rabbit hole. Okay. Oh, cool. yeah. Deep inside the rabbit hole. I might yep. have to check this one out. Cause yeah, they mentioned it on Rogan actually, uh, but they fucked up because my buddy, uh, the guy who I'm talking about, he believes the Earth is flat as well. That's a new. He doesn't believe the Earth is. I'm, te- flat. I'm telling you, there's a we two mile much- high ice wall on each side. Which is, uh, he doesn't believe this stuff. There's I'm no way. You. Yeah. Does he believe that a king named Joffrey? <laughs> um, <laughs> That's exactly fucking, what I said. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, you're fucking Game of Thrones reality. Yeah. So what about the footage from uh, the space station and stuff? It, doesn't that kind of prove the computer fucking generated, things around? Computer generated, man. Computer generated. Oh, no, why? That's <laughs> but, but, it, but it'd be funny if he, the only things he believed weren't conspiracies was fucking uh, the Kennedy assassination and the moon landing. Those things he actually <laughs> buys. Everything else is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't believe there is space. He doesn't think there is such a thing. Like NASA... He thinks is you know run by Nazis and it's a fake organization that uh, has I think never that's just a mental. I think that's just a mental illness. I don't just I don't I don't understand what? the 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 end game to that. Like, what's the motives of people? Yeah, well, to live? Why do you create a fantasy world that you need to live in? I don't know. It's a whole one world government thing. I think okay. that's the. Well, uh, what does he do when he's not podcasting with you? He's a very successful businessman, actually. Surprisingly enough, he can relate to people on a human level. Oh, he's a smart but, guy, then. Yeah. Right. Smart yeah. guy, but believes far out things. Yeah, for sure. A lot of those conspiracy guys are really smart, and, and that's one of the problems, is like, you, you, when you get, you're, you're a bright guy, so you can fucking justify anything in your own yeah. mind, you can, you can out-argue people, you can think of it and go, well, wait, what about, mm-hmm. you know, it's harder to pin those guys down, because they are smart. He's certainly not the most articulate person in the entire world, but at this point, it's difficult to argue with him, because it almost seems faith-based. Like, like there's enough holes in it where you can't bring up facts to debate what he's talking how about. Old, how old is the Earth according to him? He's uh oh I, I don't know I, I've never even asked but so far we are the center of it. Like that I think that's also part of what it is is he wants to make the human uh you know the human beings more important than they actually are. We're not important. No, he's like we are the center of the universe where I think we're just specks of dog shit. You know the, the, the older the older. <laughs> oh, you, I the, think the truth lies somewhere <laughs> in the middle. Like, <laughs> the older the older you get, you just realize we're just shit right yeah oh god and then my uh enjoy your time because the universe doesn't give a fuck Mm -mm. yeah not one bit and then uh our third host is uh my best friend from growing up and he has gone from complete frat boy party maniac to now he's like a reiki healer a numerologist he's you know into all of that stuff super spiritual can they stop with fucking but then again maybe because i'm into massages for the wrong reasons (laughs) but can they can people stop telling me they're healers i was i haven't met one fucking healer who is a genuine healer massage Uh, therapists are amazing yeah don't tell me you're a healer i uh we were just discussing reiki last night oh yeah and um uh I, girls have called me rapey. Oh, Reiki. Oh, Reiki. The joke was, the joke was gonna be girls have called me Reiki, but I said Rapey and just spoiled the joke. I, I, right. I ruined it. Um, <laughs> fucking first year rookie I am. I've, I've gone a few times. I, I mean, I feel very relaxed afterwards and stuff, yeah. but I don't, I don't know. I will say I, that I, initially. They barely touch it. It's so weird. Yeah. Initially, it they was just like. just have a, your hands over your body, right? Exactly. It's That's shit. Yeah. It's yeah. shit. It's Doesn't like work. demolition man healing. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit. You're not putting, people want to just believe they have a magic energy my energy is going to be transferred to you no it's not <laughs> yeah i don't know it's not it was I, a useful tool for him to get laid up front though like that's it, girl, smart. girls are super fucking into it because they want to believe how special they are really that their energy can be oh, i'm yeah. gonna hold my hand over your yoni when they call their twat a yoni yeah you uh, know it's a fucking good yoga girl and they call root, their pussy a yoni they call their shit cutter well, I don't want, root chakra uh, yeah your root chakra but like by, <laughs> Wait, by your ass oh, well yeah. because you haven't spent hundreds of thousands of dollars destroying <laughs> your life sexually <laughs> uh, you, they call it a yoni a yoni is a pussy a yoga girl will say yoni and the root chakra there's seven chakras and the root chakra is the one i tried to get a massage therapist to rub mine and she wouldn't because she told me about a root chakra <laughs> oh yeah and uh that's down by the 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 heart chakra is the chakra. But we're not going to touch the other chakras. Yes, yeah, so don't fucking talk about chakras, stupid. If you're not going to rub my root, okay. <laughs> if you're not going to fucking lick your finger and tickle my root chakra, don't mention it. Yeah. You miss, I heal people. How about you heal me for all this, yeah. this cum I have built yeah, up? Why are, you, why are you here if you're not going to yank on my root? 
<laughs> and then that actually even plays into the conspiracy theorists because they think the occult, you know, the elite are the occult, and that's why they fuck children in their root chakra because it somehow emits some power. Jesus. Yeah. What about yeah, what about uh, good morning? By what, the way, what about lizard people? Do I believe in it, or is that something? We work no, for I them. know you. I don't even <laughs> yeah. have to ask. You don't. <laughs> One look at you, and you went to Geneseo. You don't yeah. believe in lizard people. No, I mean, I th- I'm, I'm sure he thinks. You know, he was talking a lot about how Al Gore flew in empty planes that were just filled with like you know sarcophagus sarcophaguses of blood. Like that's how he was rolling with like coolers of blood transfusion that he could constantly swap in and swap out. Why? I don't know. Who does he think killed JFK? I just have to know. Uh, <laughs> I just have to know. <laughs> there aren't mu- there aren't many concrete answers. All it is is just like what you're being fed is bullshit. That's pretty much it. No, I know. Yeah, and it's like, how come you don't want to go to bed at eight o'clock? Because I don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, one flu. One flu. No, no, I was saying when I was a kid. I, that, oh. that was no. That, that, that wasn't a very, little one. It was very, very Cheswicky. It sounded like Cheswick. I, my favorite part of that is when Cheswick, like something's happened. He goes. Oh my God! He's just had enough. When yeah. Cheswick has had enough, <laughs> no. you really have <laughs> leave the room. Oh my God! <laughs> Fucking brilliant movie. Yes, it certainly. Uh, is. You found the Beach Boys? Yes. All right, because we're going to go back to this conspiracy thing, but we're definitely heading toward a break just because we have a lot of live reads for the holidays. Uh, let's uh, let's see a little of this. The Beach Boys shred. I get around. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound good though. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I can't, I can't listen to it. It's terrible. <laughs> it, it, it works better with the visuals. It's terrible. It's so bad. It's not good. The one I was uh, thinking of was Creed, Scott uh, 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 Stapp, right? He's another one that just went kooky, right? He thought aliens were following him. He was super into the conspiracy th- stuff. Adam, oh, my, what? This he, is what, he sort of got his uh, his shit together a little bit. Recently, Did he? Though, yeah, because it, it happened like two months ago, I think, where they he was like running away from his wife. She hadn't heard from yeah. him. Oh, that was, was longer giving, than two months now. Oh, really? We were all about those uh, videos and that story. Yeah, that was wonderful. <laughs> but. Uh, that guy made one with uh, Scott Stapp from Creed, singing and just they were, they fucked that one up too. But all right, <laughs> if you can find it real fast, Creed shreds three. You you shoes you. you that it? Uh, yeah, it might be real fast. All right, we're all around. We're about to play some Duke. Duke round. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> it's a brilliant concept. He's got the big J mittens. (laughs) All I want to scream is, Yeah, I don't know why I'm always doing that. <laughs> That's really bad. We're gay. Oh, yeah. That's right. We're gay. And hold me. Oh, yeah. Now, stroke, oh. man. Stroke, it. You do the five days like him. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> really funny. God, it's brilliant. The, gu- the guitar looks make it, right? Oh, yeah. it's so terrible. He spent some time on this shit, huh? Yeah, this guy's really yeah. a good player. Yeah, these were really these videos were hot about, I don't know, four or five years ago now. They they were all the rage. Does he do those NFL lip sync things too? That was really funny too, yeah. right? No, I haven't seen those. Oh yeah, where they're like it, You've is never is seen it the NFL? racist or something like that? Yeah. Racist NFL. Really funny. Uh, I don't go for the racism, though. To me, there's no humor to be found in the racism. Need, <laughs> you know, it should be called race wasm. <laughs> you know, but it's a thing in the past. So the podcast is deep inside the rabbit hole? Yep. Yeah. Cool, man. When, when do you release your every week? Uh, yeah, every Wednesday we put okay. it out. Yeah. 
Cool. Well, we'll continue with Mike Cannon because I want to. I want to talk about conspiracies in general. Yes. That's a good topic. I like that topic, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Jimmy, uh, one hour away from all tickets going on sale everywhere except Washington. Except D.C. Someone told me Vermont there were no pre-sales either. I, I don't know. Uh, Mouthful of Shame is the tour, and it goes on sale 10 a.m. everywhere. But the pre-sale did very well yesterday. I was happy. That's really, I was expecting an unmitigated disaster. That's really good news. I was expecting my agent to call. We got 40 tickets sold, pal. Oh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> You would have jumped out a window. You're doing a lot of dates, right? I am, yeah. That's and, amazing. Uh, a five-month tour all over the place. Oh, shit. A lot of bills to pay. Starting Mike, soon. A lot of bills to pay. <laughs> Starting soon. This guy wants to talk about the Conspiracy Podcast. Good. All right. More with Mike uh, Cannon. Stay there. Got Mike Cannon in studio for the first time. He's doing good. Yeah. He's got a podcast called Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. It's a podcast where they explore uh, conspiracies. Yes, sir. Do you run out of them, though? It seems that there's a finite number of them, or no? I was just saying, like, it, you know, initially I thought we were going to because we were hitting all the, the hot ones like JFK, 9-11, all that kind of stuff. The but moon then, landing. Exactly. Yeah. But now now it seems so evergreen because a new shooting or a new thing keeps oh, happening yeah. every day. So, But doesn't that, when conspiracy guys feel that way... Isn't it like they're just married to the idea of conspiracy if they think everything yeah. is made up? It's well, that's the thing. You know, even during the San Bernardino thing, he uh, init- immediately posted, I don't know much about this, but considering it's reported by the mainstream media, I'm going to immediately consider it a bullshit story. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> just like that, yeah. Which seems like he's kind of going into it with already an angle. Well, we got your partner on the line. Perfect. What's his name? Dave. All right. Hello, Dave. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. Who am I talking to? Uh, I don't know if I want to tell you. <laughs> What's going on? It's Opie and Jim Norton. Hey, Opie and Jim. How you doing, man? Hi, Pretty Dave. good. Congrats on the podcast. It, it definitely does very well. We couldn't do it without Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear you're a very successful businessman. Um, thank you. You do, you do all right yeah, for you yourself. Well, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm a happy camper. And uh, But you believe in some far-fetched things. Well, it's not believing. It's looking at facts rather than believing the lies that the mainstream media throws at us and uh, and taking that for truth. All right, well, let's go with the Boston bombing. Nobody died. Nobody got hurt. Prove that 150 times over. If you go on YouTube and uh, look at my presentation I did on Caravan to Midnight, um, it, it shows you videos and proof. There's, there's orthopedic doctors that have come out that said all of the injuries that we saw are impossible. Um, you know, it, it, we're on a radio show here. It, it's difficult to, to draw a picture of what happened, but, you know, we, we all remember the picture of uh, Jeff uh, Lamshanks Bowman uh, taking his wheelchair ride with both of his legs blown off with a kind of a happy look on his face. He laid there on the ground with both legs blown off unattended while they're attending to people that have little rips in their pants. Doesn't make any sense at all. Who, uh, just curiosity, because I, I, I have a hard time getting certain acting work. <laughs> who, who are the actors that they hire for these things? Where do they hold the auditions? Is it an open casting call? <laughs> do they, I'm the asking for real. Talent. How do they find the actors, and do they yeah. work again? You have to sell your soul, and um, I, I don't know. I don't know where the casting calls are. There have been, you know, reports like on Craigslist for casting calls, but I think that's just make people look crazy right so my thing is but if there's so many of these that means there's a tremendous amount of actors who have been involved whether they're professional or whether they're local community theater actors or just regular folks there's a lot of them so how and who directs these things um and who does the editing and all that stuff um there's there's a lot of people involved but it's not as many as you would think but all of these people are compromised financially. Uh, they're either, you know, they could be in trouble with the law, like you got caught with a trunk full of cocaine, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. Or, hey, you're going to live this life, you're going to play this person, and you're going to do this thing, and then we're going to move you uh, to another part of the world where you're going to have a different identity. Happens all the time. You're, um, you're, you're a brilliant actor. I get it. <laughs> this is all fake. This is why you guys are great. <laughs> You know, it, it, if you look, you're playing a part, things, right? There's no way you believe this. Well, you have to look at the evidence, and that's the problem. But, well, with the Boston bombing, we all saw the explosion, right? No, we saw a smoke bomb go off. Like, think about this. 
You saw the picture of the backpack if you've done any research. So the runners were in on it, too, because they, they had a pretty good reaction to well, what looked like a bomb uh, exploding right, right off so, the side of where they were running. What we saw was not the runners coming in when the bomb went off. The runners were stopped about a mile before, and on a bunch of people you don't believe were, this. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm only this is Jim here. I'm only curious, who stopped the runners, and what reason did they give for stopping the marathon runners? There's photos of it. There, there, there there's photos, but the. The, the problem is... What I think they stopped... I, I think you're half true there. I believe they did stop the race when they realized all hell was breaking bomb loose was off, right. at the finish line, okay? But they didn't stop the uh, the whole race so they could bring the actors in or whatever. But I, I, I lived in Boston for three years. I went to the marathon every year. We had a broadcast from there. It actually had to. It was a, it was a fun uh, day, and it was a great party. But uh, what about the spectators? What the, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer all oh of that. Oh, my you give God. Me a all second. right. <laughs> I'll right. keep it very short. Okay. What we saw on television was done with green screen. It was filmed over several days. None of it makes sense when you look at it all together. If you want to see a breakdown of it, you can go to my website, deepinsidetherabbithole.com, click the Boston bombing page, and go through the videos there. But it takes time. It's not something you learn in a 10-minute you know, discussion on a radio show. You have to look at the evidence. Thank you for clarifying that it's your website, Dave. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> don't, don't worry. You're off. Mike. And also, Dave is a big proponent of giving you 14-hour videos for you to kind of break down. So it's very difficult. if you're taking someone to trial, a trial doesn't happen in a five-minute sound clip. It happens over days and days and weeks and weeks. I've narrowed it down to just a few hours to learn the truth. You know, Dave, it's fine. Like, the conspiracy stuff's really interesting. And I'm, I'm not big on conspiracies at all. But I, I really used to believe in some of them. And, like, the problem I have with, like, the Kennedy, like, or whatever one, I'm just using that as an example, mm -hmm. is the more I investigated it, almost trying to disprove what the Warren Commission said, the more I found myself believing what they said. And it, it was just because I, I kept looking at the conspiracy stuff and finding a lot of it wasn't logical. Like, the way I look at evidence is, like, some things I, th I, I don't believe the government, I think they're shitty, but I'm looking at the evidence, it's just I didn't believe what the conspiracy guys were, were telling me. And then I realized, yeah. like, guys like Grodin... And all these guys who are down on uh, at uh, Dealey Plaza have a, an important motive for continuing the conspiracy line. Do you know what I mean? I, I do know what you mean. And, and uh, unbelievably, the K Kennedy assassination is something that I don't really look into. You know, it was a long time ago. Not that it's not important to look into. And there's, it's, there's just so many people looking into it. I don't want to say I don't care, but there's other things that okay. are more relevant. All right. Well, speaking of which, uh, San Bernard, uh, Bernard, uh, Bernardino, uh, where right. are you at with that whole thing? Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, there's absolutely no proof. That, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. There's no proof that anybody died. We hear, we're hearing stories from the mainstream media that lies to us, um, and we have absolutely no physical evidence. What we see um, is people being brought out and treated on the street on triage masks when that's not what the protocol is. The protocol is if there's ambulances in hospitals, you get them in an ambulance, you get them to a hospital. The only time they treat you on the street is when you're 50, 100 miles away and there's no place to bring anybody. So my there was a hospital right down the road and there was ambulances everywhere and people are walking around with their hands in their pockets while people are laying on the street with their clothes off and no injuries. So, so my question Dave, is who are these actors? And it's, and it's not to keep harping on it, but there's a lot of people that you have to involve and I'm saying where do they find these people and and how do they if David Petraeus couldn't make an email disappear he was cheating on his wife with that fucking woman who did his book he was the head of the CIA and he couldn't get rid of that email how do they prevent these actors from coming out and going this is I, who I am and this is what I just did so what if they came to you? What if, uh, let's say you... Uh, I would take the acting work. I'm a whore. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. But that's me, Dave. <laughs> we don't even need to have the blackmail of going to jail for the rest of your life um, and losing everything. We'll just say they're going to offer you a couple of million dollars, and they're going to pay you... Um, you know, to be, to be this actor, you're going to do the thing, and you're going to sign an agreement that says if you ever mention this to anybody, you're going to go to jail, be locked up under the, a terrorist NDAA without any trial... And you're going to lose everything you have. Would you ever talk? No. I, to be honest oh. with you, in this in 1980, I might not have. But now, with the fact that you can go on YouTube or Twitter with your iPhone, which is really what's hurt Scientology, is the fact that people can come out and say stuff. Right. It's really hard to keep that stuff quiet now. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying Petraeus because you cannot get any more 
black ops than the head of the CIA, and he couldn't do it. Well, and that's the unfortunate thing with the mainstream media reporting, too, which kind of puts a hole in this a little bit, is because I followed the Paris attacks via Twitter. I followed the San Bernardino thing via Twitter. Right. And all individual news was kind of at least harp- linking up a little bit with the mainstream sure. media. So obviously there's inconsistencies because people on the scene were saying there were three yeah. men dressed, in, white men dressed in an all black kind of like ops outfit or something like that. So that's something to be interested in in terms of conspiracy. But the yeah. no people die thing, I can't. We, we got so the, hang on. Hang subscribe on. To. Okay. The, yeah. The, three, the, the witness that called in and said there were three guys dressed like special ops. Again, that's coming through the mainstream media. They give you this narrative. Then they throw out a bunch of conspiracy red herrings that lead down end, you know, dead end hallways. And people get stuck in that. And they don't look at the fact that the entire thing was a play and nobody died. Uh, that's ridiculous. Well, I mean, you, well, using your example, if somebody approached you and said, look, you, we'll give you a million dollars, but you can't say anything. Let's say you said no to that. And then there was one of these shootings. Don't you think someone would come forward and say, oh, my God, I was approached. I didn't sign something. They said that there's going to be this whole event happening. Mm. It could have sure, been prevented. That, that, that's a reasonable thing. There's lots of people that have tried to speak out, have spoken out on uh, on the different things that are happening, and they're dead. There's lots of people that died. You know how many people that died with the Sandy Hook? Well, then why wouldn't they just kill them instead of fucking making the whole thing up? If they're willing right. to kill the people, yeah. why not just go out and do the message? Yeah, actually, let him answer that because it's interesting. Oh, it's, really? a, it's a moral <laughs> thing. Because, you, well, one, one, I believe that they're not allowed to kill people. Like George Bush doesn't kill people. He gets, he gets, gets order followers to kill people. But in a narrative that you want to completely control, you can't kill anybody because somebody was having an affair with somebody who's connected to somebody, has some emotional tie to somebody that was killed. They're going to be inconsolable and they're going to speak out everything they know. But if everyone is just paid actors, compromised, blackmailed, nobody's talking because there's no emotion involved. All right, listen, uh, you know, obviously you piss off people when you talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> you do understand that, right? Obviously. Okay. We got Andrew in Boston. He wants in badly on this one. Uh, go ahead, Andrew. Uh, Andrew, go ahead. I think I got you now. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. So yep. The, the, the Richards family, the, the one that, that claimed to have lost a son, we, we vacation with them up in uh, New Hampshire. And uh, the last uh, 4th of July parade that we went to, their son wasn't there, and their daughter has half a leg. Is there any explanation on that? Do you think that they're just an actor family that we hang out with? So in the Boston bombing, a lot of people uh, did lose limbs, but they didn't lose them at the Boston bombing. Like Jeff Bauman is, uh, lost his legs in Kandahar, Afghanistan, and his name is Nick Vogt. There's pictures of him. Um, so where, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Where's their son? Did they just... Yeah, you're, you're deflecting a little bit. He's got a specific question. He actually knows one of the victims of the Boston bombing, and he doesn't see him anymore. So explain that to this guy. Because then, th- then this guy maybe would be able to sleep better at night knowing that it's all bullshit and that his friend is still alive. I, I don't know the or neighbor. that. Like, if I gave you a jigsaw puzzle of 10,000 pieces that says it's a picture of uh, the keys off of Miami and you were 70% done and you saw icebergs and people skiing and polar bears, you would know it's not Florida, but you wouldn't know the last 30% yet. So I don't know all the answers, but there's enough evidence to show you that this entire thing was a hoax. Maybe they mix in a little something. Maybe his their son was, you know... Uh, who knows where he is? Address, no address Andrew, though, because... No, I'm serious. Because you're saying the whole thing was bullshit. Uh, the Boston bombing was all bullshit. So you got Andrew on the phone. Address him and tell him that. I, I don't you don't know, know how it, 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 it happened, but you're convinced that his neighbor did not die that day. So no, tell I, him. I, He's on I, the I phone. Don't know. I don't know what happened to his neighbor. I'm saying if you look at all of the other stories, they don't make sense. We're all shown uh, Carlos Arandondo, the cowboy hat hero... You look at his story, and then the evidence of what really happened, none of it matches. There's a video on my website called so How about you look at Check it out. <laughs> you can't just have a conversation. Like, he's telling me a story. I'm telling him a story. I don't believe him. He doesn't believe me. It doesn't mean that you, it doesn't prove either one of us wrong. You have to look at the evidence. Well, don't you it's all have on my website, deep inside the rabbit hole. <laughs> Dave, Dave don't, don't, doesn't, doesn't, his, doesn't his story hold just a bit more weight because he vacations with the people and has known them, and, and you're kind of on the outs? Wouldn't you say that somebody who's intimately involved with the family has a bit more knowledge? But Dave's been watching YouTube, Jim. So let me ask okay, you a question. Enough. Stop it. Everything, <laughs> everything that ever happens is on YouTube, so you can't say YouTube doesn't have any truth on it. But here's the question is, do you know this guy in, in Boston, or do you know me? 
Do you know anything that I'm saying is true or anything that he's saying is true? No, we have, to, we have to look at the Am I an actor calling into the show? I, I have no idea so. who you are, and I have no idea if your story is true. Maybe your story is true. I hate true. to say I'm it's not, not the it's, it's not. not the worst point, because yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I really don't know Andrew in Boston. <laughs> Fair and, enough. Andrew but. does sound just like George Clooney, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> George right. Clooney's that desperate these days. Yeah. What oh, was the first... Okay. Hey, Dave, what, I'm just curiosity. What was the first conspiracy that you were like, fuck, man, this doesn't seem right. Like, How old were you? What was yeah. it? 9-11. Oh, okay. Please tell them yeah. that, Dave. What about tell 9-11? Them, yeah, tell them Thank you're you. I'm surprised you don't believe Perfect. the 9-11 thing actually happened the way it's... I'm, I'm shocked to hear that. <laughs> so you, believe, you believe that 19 hijackers hijacked three planes and knocked down seven buildings in New York? Yeah, And yes. one of them crashed into uh, the field in the Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the ground liquefied, swallowing the plane so deep that none of it could ever be recovered? Because that's the official story. Um, I don't know about the liquefy thing. The only thing I believed but conspiracy... Hold on, I'll, I'll answer you. I'll answer point. you. Hold the on. only thing that's I believed conspiracy-wise yeah. with 9-11 was when, when Rumsfeld slipped and said, shot a plane down. That was the only thing that I would have said maybe they did. But, you know, eyewitness accounts saw the plane coming in. But I, I would have believed, like, hey, did, did we shoot that plane down or did the military right. shoot that plane down and then just want the people to be remembered as, as heroes, heroes and not do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Again, that... I, I, I will never that, agree on this one. I look at that as another red herring. That, along with Larry Silverstein saying, pull it when Building 7 fell directly across the street from the New York Times, who has never reported it to this day. Um, but the official story in Shanksville is the ground liquefied, swallowing the plane so deep that it could never be recovered. And that's the story that you believe because you've never heard it and because you never investigated it. But well, if you look into it, you can see that's the first lie. Dave, I don't, I don't Dave, believe to, that they said it liquefied and went too deep to be recovered. Dave, get so to, get to New York because I, I want to hear what they have to say about your theory about uh, what actually hit the tower. I'm curious. I don't know what hit the tower. I, I, what has he I, said uh, on the podcast? He, he says on the podcast that it was a direct energy weapon with a hologram of a plane that was actually a mile and a half oh, I, away. I said that a possibility that they use holographic technology to fool some of the people. But what we saw on television was complete, uh, you know, um, video compositing. And I have, a, again, a video on the 9-11 no, no planes on deepinsidetherabbithole.com. Watch the video, um, and it'll show you how they did it. How about this? The picture that we all saw on all the networks of the plane, the second plane coming in, going through the building um, from the right side to the left, it, uh, it was filmed by a guy that developed the software and teaches the course on how to insert aircraft into live video um, programming. I, I don't know that that's up. true or not, but well, it, it is true. All the information is on the website in the videos, but you can say I don't. Uh, know. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> listen, listen. Where, where are the people? The famous question. Then where are the people that were on those planes? They were all actors. Was it empty no, planes? I can, that. I can answer that for you, and I'll keep it under thirty seconds. Every weekday, going from the East Coast to the West Coast from those airports, the early morning flights are very desirable because people can get to the West Coast and have a full day of work. There's about 35 flights every day, and they're book solid with uh, people on the waiting list. That day, all the flights were book solid except the four. The official list were only like 30% full on those four that were hijacked. How is that even possible? Flight 11 and flight 175 wasn't even scheduled to fly that day. So if it did fly, how did it get passengers? And the names that were on those all have Pentagon ties. By the way, I bet you're incorrect about the uh, flights all being full because I remember flying around that time going to do gigs. And there was a lot of open seats, and it seems like after 9-11, the, the, the a lot of the, the flights that would have gone out half empty, they stopped doing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we've been on flights that were canceled. Mm -hmm. Oh, mechanical failure. I mean, my road manager, like, I bet they just only had 30 yeah. tickets sold. They, they didn't, didn't want to fucking waste the fuel. Right. Exactly. And, well, and the question is, why is that, like, because you're a smart dude, why is it easy for you to believe all of these people can get together and do this and make it work, but hard to believe that just the protocol for hijackings back then was to negotiate, and uh, they thought that they had a bomb on them. Like, why is that so much harder to believe? Because if you look at the flight path that these planes supposedly took and the fact that not a single uh, fighter interceptor came and intercepted them, they, they also rendezvoused over a uh, Air Force base, which, uh, which maybe whatever hit the pet towers came from that Air Force base, uh, started from. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's an impossible situation. And, uh, and, and a plane hitting a building where only 4% of the weight is above it doesn't make a building fall at free fall speed into the ground and turn into dust on its way down. 
It, it doesn't happen. And seven buildings disappeared. People say, what about Building 7 that fell uh, into its own footprint on the evening of 9-11? The BBC and CNN announced that it fell 23 minutes before it fell. How did they know it was going to fall? And Building 6, which nobody even knows about, the entire inside of the building disappeared, and the outside is still there. So was CNN, that, was CNN in on it, or the people? Because if they had prior knowledge, they must have been in on it. Well, the, 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 the certain people are in on it, and that certain people are just... But hold on, what, but hold on, slow down. What people are in on it? Yeah. See, it's, Paul, with, with, Brennan, with, Dave, with conspiracy thing. guys, like the, the thing that frustrates me about you guys is like, you'll say something like, well, these guys are in on it. Okay. How many people have to be like you got to think as a smart person. So does somebody call these people at CNN and say, OK, here's what we're going to do. We need to get the editors involved. We need to get these. It's, it's the biggest live event, perhaps in the history of the country, mm -hmm. maybe other than the Kennedy assassination. We need to get all these folks involved who we've never worked with before. How does that happen? That's not true, because like Anderson Cooper is, is a CIA front all of these people that are... are, are um, he can't even so. keep his homosexuality a secret. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think he would have... <laughs> it, would have been, it would have been better for him to keep that a secret. Yeah. Yeah. It makes his life a little easier. Even so though we're more tolerant these days, right, so, guys? So think about... And, and why isn't anyone speaking up? You would think one guy would say, ah, oh, fuck it, i got to speak up about this. I'm sure a lot of people have been fired from CNN since 9-11, uh, and the, you know they're, right. not they're not happy about what happened to their careers over there, and they would want to speak out. Again, your your question, your statement is an incorrect statement. Where people have spoke up, Philip Marshall wrote a book called "The Big Bamboozle" about 9/11. He announced that he had a blockbuster um, book coming out, ready to go, and then all of a sudden, he decided to kill his dog, his two teenagers, and shot himself in the back of the head twice. Right, and it was deemed a suicide immediately, and his computer was confiscated. Okay, this stuff happens, and the mainstream media doesn't report it. Therefore, you guys and everybody else says, oh, the mainstream media didn't report it. I think it if you happen. do such a horrific thing to your entire family, that the, I, think the, I think the authorities would want to check out your computer. And if they're faking it, why I, would I they shoot they you would. in the back of the head? Right. He shot himself in the back of the head. They mess up a lot. He deemed a suicide. Yeah, but who, let me ask you, if they're smart enough to pull this stuff off, and they're smart enough to think this stuff through, who would make the judgment error of going, we got to make it look like he killed himself. All right, make sure it's in the back of the head. Yeah. Like, who does that? Wouldn't they get that one right? Yeah. That's an easy one to get right. Yeah, you put the gun in the mouth, you know, you, or under the chin. The back but, of the head's a silly goose right. move. Uh, again, you're asking a question which I don't know the answer to, but these well, are that's the facts the, that are, that's that are what you guys there. like to do. Then you just deflect. Ah, oh, I don't know the answer. Okay. Uh, not, you know the answer to everything deflecting. else, but that's that's uh, we're we're working off logic there. It's like the, it seems like the answers that you you don't know, or a lot of guys don't know, is the one that could possibly intelligently make you question your own belief in the, 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 the you just go, I don't know, instead of examining it and going, yeah, that is kind of silly. No, that's not true, because uh, it is silly. You're right. But he's dead, and, it, and his book disappeared. Look. Oh, there, there's other people that were that saw things in 9-11, and, and they're dead. Um, Barry, um, Barry Jennings, he was in Building 7, and he had some stuff uh, that, that he was reporting on. They've wiped him from the Internet, basically, and they said he never existed now. And there's video of him. How about how about this simple one? We know Pete Davidson, a very funny comic. He's on SNL. We know him very well now. Sure. Uh, he lost his father uh, on 9-11. Sure. He would fucking rip your throat out. For no, real. No, I, I, I hear you. I have two all right, friends that lost All right. So we know that he lost his father on 9-11. This one we have a personal connection to. So what People happened to on 9 /11. What happened to his father? I, I have two friends that worked at Canada. What Jones. happened to Pete Davidson's father on 9-11? Because he would love to know. Cause it, I, I would love could, to know, too. Because to this day, it really fucking bothers him. So here's what happened. He's dead, or he's not dead, and he's living somewhere else. I don't know. I would guess that he's dead. People died on 9-11. It, it was a false flag, a false flag. It changed everything. It's a pivoting point in our civilization. And it was planned years in advance. You make Alex but, Jones sound like Donald Rumsfeld. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have one. I have, but you're you're prepared to tell uh, Pete Davidson that his father, you know, was a huge government conspiracy. And, no, I'm not. And, it, and again, you're putting words in my mouth. There is. Well, the show's the called. It's a conspiracy show. <laughs> no, no, so what else would it be? It's a 9/11 conspiracy. You can't say. You can't say that. People that died were not in on it. 
Okay, the people in those towers were not in on it. Fair enough. That's a false flag versus. Fair enough, post. but you you would you would have no problem telling Pete Davidson that it wasn't planes that flew into those buildings that I could prove that, that it absolutely that caused the death of his father when those buildings collapsed. Uh, well, you know what? If, if let's say I'm right, wouldn't it? Isn't that the, the 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 right thing to do? Is to find out how these people died, why they died, and and get to the truth. That's the truth. I don't say this stuff lightly. I mean, I've done thousands of hours of research. Michael will attest to that. It's just, I think you just enjoy, I think conspiracy guys enjoy the idea of conspiracy. And I think that's just, that's a, not true. I think, I know, my, I know my, you're not going to say it's true, but I, I just think from watching the way they process evidence as smart people, I can't, you know, I can't, uh, there's certain pieces of it, I just can't comprehend how they come to the conclusions they come right. to, and I look at the same things. M- my conspiracy podcast would last one episode. <laughs> This is exhausting. There's been several it episodes where uh, this is exhausting. both of us have nearly walked out and or really? fought. Can, yeah. I, can I ask him one question? Well, I want to ask about the Earth. Oh. Sure. The Earth. You think the Earth is flat? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, yeah, I do. Why? Because there's no evidence that it's a ball. And you think there's tons, but nobody has been able to come up with one piece of evidence that it's a ball. What about when the space station, uh, you know... What about it? If you looked at the video of the space station... It, and you can see the, you know, it's going around the Earth and... Uh, and, you, and where do you see it? Do you see it with yourself or you see it with the pictures that NASA feeds you? Well, there's things I just ha- I just do believe, yes. I do believe I, I that. I do believe they're up there and I do believe they filmed the Earth and, and it, it certainly looks like it's pretty uh, uh, I mean, round to me. Show me the film. Huh? I mean, show me the film. NASA even admits they have no video of the Earth rotating. How come... They, they've got ten to 30,000 satellites in space. They don't know how many. That's interesting. And they don't have any video of the Earth rotating, except they did do a time lapse where the Earth did a 24-hour rotation, but none of the clouds moved whatsoever in 24 hours. And anybody that has half a brain will know that's impossible. So we don't have half a brain because we don't think the Earth is No, flat. you haven't looked. I'm not saying you don't have half a brain, which whether it's true or not. You just haven't looked. People don't like to look out of their comfort zone because it it, it screws up their 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 belief. But that's but that's I, I understand that. But it's I, I'm not uncomfortable looking at this stuff. I just don't I, I don't it doesn't make sense to me because what you're saying involves so many people, right. and I don't give people the credit. For the ability to do that stuff. They're not smart enough. They are not good enough at keeping secrets. And it's just, it, for what reason would making the earth round, what purpose does involving all those people so- serve? Yeah, so here, here's the, 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 my answer to that. Is I don't believe that the, the power, the, the people that run the countries and everything around the world even knew until 1956 when they went to Antarctica and discovered um, what was going on there. That's and then cool. they decided to keep it to keep it a secret. And the reason they decided to keep it a secret is all about control. You know that they're trying to control us. They manipulate us with all the fake news stories. But we've been back to Antarctica since, and everyone keeps nope. the secret. And and, no, we we, and what's the secret with Antarctica? So the 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 the, the, the Antarctica the Antarctica Treaty is in effect, where there's over forty countries uh, guarding it with force. Nobody is allowed to go there except for a couple of sightseeing tours. At specific times of the year, at three access points on the outer islands, and and you're never um, that's that's all you're allowed to see. Antarctica is not a ball; it's not a, a continent. It's the bottom of a spinning, wobbling ball flying through space. It is the ring of ice that surrounds the world that we know it and holds the oceans in as we know it. If you want to find out more on that, no, I don't. I, I don't need to. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't need to. Yeah. I, one one question. So, if uh, the Earth is flat, where's where's the edge? There is no edge. It's a it's a ice sheet with a, a thermal pocket melted out by our sun, which is very close, and uh, it has melted out the pocket. Sounds insane. I thought the same thing. I blocked people from even posting on our Facebook pages for even suggesting such an absurd thing. But all the evidence is that deep inside the rabbit hole dot com. Click the flatter. I disagree that all the evidence points to this. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I have to disagree. I believe there's contrary evidence. I challenge you. I challenge you to show me one piece of evidence that the earth is a ball. Just think about it before you just blurt something out and then allow me to respond. Right. The evidence evidence I'm saying is, is I believe you believe the photo. Yes, I believe. Because that's all evidence is. How much do you believe evidence? So, what what it hunt? What is considered proof is only real proof if it's, if it's believed to be proof. Yeah. Um, I believe the photos from space were actually and legitimately taken from where they say. 
And I believe, so I believe that the earth being round, and I believe the photos I'm seeing. I and I'll, and I'll answer too, I believe the globe in school. <laughs> so, right. I, just, so, uh, I just believed it. I'm like, oh, okay, but, but thank like, you. Thank you're you programmed, te- Dopey. Thank you're you programmed. for teaching me this. Using, and you can spin it, and it's like, oh, wow. Using his logic, I could say the Earth is a hat, and unless you can prove to me it's not a hat, it's a hat. No, that's not at all. It's a hat. Well, prove it's not a hat. Uh, Now we're using your shit against you. Prove the earth's not a hat. Whose head is big enough to wear it? So there's different (laughs) different maps of the world. One is the Peter's projection map. The other one is the Azimuth equidistant map. Well, Google Earth uses one. They're, They're very different than the other. And then Google uses the other one. And they have completely different layouts of the earth. And they're both wrong. But who does use the flat earth map? Well, the United Nations uses the flat earth map and other uh, big agencies that, that are controlling everything. The Mariners, um, I forget the name of it, but they all use the flat earth map as their logo. Why is that? Are they just rubbing it in our faces or is it just a cool looking map? That's a, why, they, why do they use the flat earth logo, uh, the, the map you mean? Yeah. Well, it's probably what? just a way of looking at the entire planet. It's kind of hard if you're if you're talking about the planet to look at a circular thing since paper is flat. Yeah. No, they have they have the other two maps that are supposedly the correct uh, the correct layout of the world, and they're both vastly different from each other. But they can't decide which one to use because if they use one, um, it, it 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 would it even prove it wrong. So wait, the ice wall. the ice wall keeps all the water from falling off. Do you believe in God? Like is um, like is this I, a religious I, thing? No, it's not. I've oh, okay. been atheist my entire life until I discovered the flat Earth. Now I know that it's there not, is there a is not creator. Flat. Let me go to oh, Charles. You, hold on. Now question. you know there's a creator. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. okay. I was just that's why I said it's, it's tough to argue because it's kind of faith. Oh, it's religious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Justin. Go. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's faith based. It's not faith faith based. That's ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. That's I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to insult you. Well, before I your intelligence. But go ahead. I have Justin. I got a question for you. So, um. You put all this information on your website. You have, yeah. uh, you keep redirecting everybody there. You have all the videos there. Are you scared that somebody might try to silence you for trying to bring the truth out about all these different things? You know what? I've, I actually was uh, afraid at one point, but now, you know what? Who, who cares? I don't care anymore. Have you ever had um, like and- mysterious people following you or your phones tapped or clicked or? Um, probably. They're from the, and you know they're listening to us right now. I mean, that's not a conspiracy, is it? No, they're not. Have you seen our ratings? <laughs> now, let me ask you something. Now, <laughs> now, if they can do that, if they can get all these people working for them and doing all this, and they will kill people when they have to, like, why not just get rid of you? Meaning, because right. I'm not big enough yet. No, that's not true. That's not true. You're hold on. You, you can't have it both ways. You're you have a website, right. Which they're listening all the time. They can go to. Right. They can hear you on this radio show. They're allowing you to talk on this podcast. So, what is the purpose of allowing you to say all this stuff mm-hmm. when there's really not that many people saying what you're saying? Right. So, why is it all of a sudden possible to shut all these other people up and make all these things work? And Anderson Cooper and CNN and all the people who are supposed be done on the planes and just not shut you up there's there's so many people out there that are way doing more than me am i getting up there yeah it appears to be that way what am i going to do live my life in fear no no but why don't they just they want us to live our lives in fear why not just get rid of you because then all of your work will be ruined a thousand more of me right after me but there's not a so what they've obviously had no problem get rid of all these people i'm insane i believe boston sandy hook 9-11 9-11 were fake. I believe the earth is flat. I drink turpentine. I'm, I'm insane. Why would right. anyone even bother listening? He drinks turpentine? Yeah, that's a new development in his life. He think, what does it do, Dave? It, it douches you out? It, it's a, uh, you have to check out Dr. Jennifer Daniel. No, uh, I don't have to. Do that. Don't have to <laughs> Hold on. I can't. I'm good. Although it does remind me of my therapist, Dr. Jennifer Melfi. I go to see her often. Yeah. She's uh, very helpful in her. I believe in a good uh, juicing every once in a while, but that's Absolutely. About Hold yeah, on. Uh, <laughs> turpentine is the new kale. Yeah. Hold on. We got Charles in Iowa. Boy, does he want in on this. Charles, go ahead. Does. Welcome aboard, Chuck. Hello, guys. Hey. hey, if this guy seems to think the world's flat on one of my other points here, then there'd be an edge somewhere, and we'd be living in a matrix, according to him. He explained hey, that, though. But my main point is mm. um, my half-brother died in 9-11 because the left motor from the second plane went through the building and hit his building and has killed him and his secretary. Now, I want you to explain that one to me, you dumb SOB. <laughs> Language. So I- <laughs> so, so how how do you know? How does anyone know that a motor killed somebody? You know, the motor from the second plane, the left motor went through the building, hit his building, 
crushed and killed him and his secretary. We have his body, you dumbass. So where, who, how do you know that the motor killed him? Did someone? Oh, my God. You've got to be a dumbest (laughs) SOP in the planet. I'm a dumbass. All right. (laughs) I have physical proof saying this shit. And you got to, oh, man. Has this guy had a drug test lately? No, he's not. He's not high, but that's that's the problem with conspiracy guys. Like you won't look at this guy's evidence and go, "Well, he has a body that was that was found to be hit by a motor." You, it's like that, you don't look at that evidence with the same uh-huh. weight. You'll look at one thing that you feel disproves it. I, I, uh, that's not true. I, he's shown me no evidence. He told me a story. You know uh, that he's evidence. He's got a body not- in a grave. You dumbass! It's been crushed. How the hell do you explain that one? I, I don't. How did you get his body? That's fascinating. Oh, my God. It's pretty easy to figure out. A body can be crushed without coming apart. It's physics, hey. you dumbass. You can't, can you understand <laughs> physics? No, I can't. I'm dumbass, remember? <laughs> it's called physics, dumbass. Can you understand right. physics? Or are you still living in a fantasy world? Next. <laughs> wow! Thank you, uh, Charles. We actually got a geographer. He wa- a geographer wants in now. Let's, uh, let's be funny if he, if he agreed with fucking Dave. Because <laughs> no, he's right. Technically, the Earth is flat. We, we, we've made a mistake. <laughs> on in Baltimore. Go ahead. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey uh, this, this guy's a clown. I, I mean, uh, on, on coast to coast AM. I mean, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to go to that point. But look, this guy, man, look, map projections are. You hit it right on. It's a three-dimensional object that you're projecting onto a 2D platform, a piece of paper. There are hundreds of projections. Projections are all based on what you want to show on Earth. You know, they're all different. There is no selected, no chosen one, because they're all correct. Basic survey tools, you can go out into the field and prove basic contours on the land. If you stretch them out enough, you can see the actual curve of the earth, the actual contour. This guy's so let, let me ask you a question. How is it possible at sea level to see an island 125 miles away with a telescope when the earth should have over two miles of curvature at that distance? I would ask you, what island are you talking about, and is it a volcanic island with a two-mile peak on it? Um, I think it's called Alan. It's called Persico. I have it on my on my website. Uh, what is it? What is, come on, come on. You know, I, come I, on, what is I it? Think it's, I think the island is called... Uh, the island of Kursiko, I- I'm not sure of the name. I- I'm not great at yeah, memory. Sure every little fact. That's You're why I put it up there. on the website, and you-, you can see it. The Statue of Liberty can be seen over 60 miles away, and it should be far below the curve of the Earth. The, the-, the accepted formula for the curve of a ball that's 24.8 you know, thousand miles around or whatever is 8 inches per mile squared. And if you take that calculation, you'll see how fast the Earth curves off and what you should and should not be able to see. That's impossible. I mean, on on the news, they showed um, Chicago skyline across the Great Lake, and it was, um, it should be, you know, the top of that skyline should be a thousand feet below the curvature, but we can see the entire skyline. And they said it's a superior mirage, which it isn't. It was right side off, it was crisp and clear, and you can see it. Okay, now you're aware that if you're on top of a mountain that is one one mile above the, the, the base of the Earth, right? When you're looking straight out, you're going to see a lot farther than the basic six miles. What about if you're one mile higher? Level? If you what do the math, you would easily be able to see out 100 or 200 miles. You can see the Rocky Mountains from 500 miles away because of the height of the mountains. Truck drivers will tell you that. That doesn't mean there's not a curve in the Earth. Well, you have the basic to contour the, the curve. Earth is a lot higher. 500 miles is uh, a hell of a lot of curve. Um, and it, you should not be able to see it if the Earth is round. Can I jump okay, in for a so- second? Do you, do you think, like, all the planets are flat then? They're sentient beings. What? Yeah. The, what? The planets are not what we do. There's no picture of planets. You know, the, at 500 miles, the curve of the Earth is 31 miles of curvature. Okay? Are those mountains 31 miles high? What, tell, tell them what the other planets are, though, Dave. And the, the moon. Planets, so if you look at the planets, they're self-illuminating. They're not the pictures that were shown from NASA, which are all CGI. Um, not even CGI. They're just artist renderings. The Hubble telescope is not up there. 
Um, and this pisses off a lot of people because they have pride in all of these great accomplishments that the fake NASA agency has done. Hey, guys, I got to jump off. I got another <laughs> radio show I'm doing. <laughs> what? I got another radio show. I said I have a hard stop at 945. All right. Call me right now. He's in demand. Well, we appreciate you coming on. All right, man. Thanks for the harassing. <laughs> All right, buddy. I wouldn't Come consider on. that really harassing. No, no. Good time, man. I thought, we were, I thought we were pretty fair. Your, Wait, he's telling us. Questions. He's got to go? <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's Are blowing you us serious? On. All right. Dude. I really have to go, but I'll come back again. Anyway. Uh, no, uh, we're good. All right. We'll we're see good for a while. <laughs> see you, man. Right. We do this every, I would say, five years. Yeah. Right. And then well, we I'll need be, to recover. I'll put it in my calendar. See ya. Uh, All right. <laughs> Yeah, you, it, with stuff like that, you just there's no right answer, and you kind of I've learned that a long time ago. There's because it's not being argued from a point of like I think, uh, and he would disagree with this, but it's not being it's not coming at you from a point of I really want to get to what the truth is. It's, right, right. It's from this is the truth, and I'm going to do anything to prove it. The yeah. part that's scary, and I'll say this very carefully. Is the J-E-W-S? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. How he uh, Whoa. how he talks. He sounds believable. Sure. Yeah. Because you know he, believe, I mean? he believes everything he's saying. But I, I don't disagree. believe him, and I think I, I don't believe in any of the things he's saying. But he, he has a way of speaking where right. it, 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 it does sound believable. Our, our right. Facebook page is a frustrating place because you realize how many people are of the same ilk. Yeah. Like the, it's, it's tough to even just come out. to terms with that. The whole, the whole flat thing, I, real, I believe. I've always believed in ice walls. <laughs> I do. <laughs> ice this is a cool thing. Go throw some. Why so, wouldn't they tell us that there's ice walls? We could just go look at them. Like, why is it a secret that there's ice walls? I don't know. And, and uh, are we the only planet then? I th he doesn't consider us a planet, and the planets oh, yeah, are sentient beings. We're, They're like we're gods. a frisbee. I forgot. Yeah. We're a frisbee. Everybody. Dave, what I what I think Dave is, which uh, you know, again, he's he's goose. my co-host. I like him, but he um, he's kind of like the Scientology of conspiracy, where he starts out very basic with the with the hits, the nine elevens, the Kennedys, and then it gets weirder and weirder the higher up you go. You know, here's what happened to him: his first girlfriend cheated on him, <laughs> and since then. Trusts nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Good. Yeah, it's I don't not, know if that's it's not enough. A bad theory. I don't know if that's enough. Prove me wrong. I, I would say this: <laughs> if his first girlfriend, uh, if he walked in and he realized that she was actually a grizzly bear in a lady outfit, <laughs> <laughs> that might explain. <laughs> uh, let me uh, let me say hi to Matt in uh, North Carolina. There, Matt. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Matt. You, you could not have had a better guest on today because I love Mike. I love your guys' podcast. Oh, thanks, buddy. Dave is hilarious. I debate him on Facebook all the time. Oh, you do? And oh my god, he is. yeah. What, what's your and, What's your number one uh, conspiracy? Of his that is completely ridiculous. The 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 best. Oh one. my god, that's like asking what your favorite child is. Uh, ah. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> It's that anything, and Mike brought this up in one of the podcasts, it's as soon as something happens, the way he latches on to it, and before any actual information goes, he's like, false flag, hoax. Right. right. So, like, his Paris attack one was my recent favorite, because he's like, I have an incredibly grainy, nondescript video that proves everything is a lie. And it's like, <laughs> that's all he ever has, is really bad videos. Really long and bad videos, so you know you won't watch them. Right. But the frustrating and thing, they'll get more views than any of my stand-up. <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> well, it's fascinating, because there are people that are like, oh, God, this guy's full of shit. I yeah. got to watch just for that angle. Yeah, it, it oh, just of course. Because someone would yeah, believe this type of thing. That's why I watch it. And then there's that other people that are like, right on, keep preaching this, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. They get both both sides <laughs> watching those videos. It's just a weird thing, but this is the same thing that makes Stephen King a great writer. It's probably the same mind. It's it's where you his mind chooses to go into conspiracy, and he just dissects them and puts them together. Even though Stephen King, I think, has more of a grasp on what's real, the same mind is able to come up with it. Um, and Cujo and The Shining sure. and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's this creative, you know, again, conspiracy guys aren't dumb. They're very creative, a lot of them, because they have to explain to themselves, well, how does this work? And then they have to be able to blow off genuine intelligent arguments by going, I, I don't know. It's almost like, like, how can you accept, I don't know the answer to that, when you seem so sure about the answer to the other point? I never realized there were so many people that are into Oh, this. yeah. Well, that's why I, I told and I, I had no idea. I thought it was a very small number. No, no, it's and yeah. it's growing every day. But he should write a book. I told him that the flat Earth religion. He could be the L. Ron Hubbard of that thing. Really? Yeah, yeah for sure. There's a lot of people and, that follow it. And how did you, how did you guys meet? 
Um, he was uh, he was a coworker of my buddy Tim, who is the third host. Okay. Yeah. Where they work? Tim. They were selling solar. Solar. What? Solar energy. I guess. Like why? Solar. Why would they? But why would they? Why? I don't know. I don't know. I I, I don't really know how it happened. They is just, the sun they, legit or no? <laughs> yeah, but it's closer, I guess, than uh, than we. I would think. hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Hope so. I hate to think of it being so far. <laughs> it's very <pretty> lonely. <laughs> yeah, Mike, you got to tell him about Tim. Tim is the polar opposite of David, honestly. Yeah. Well, it's weird and because it's like, they both started on the same wavelength, and then Tim kind of broke off into this like spiritual, yeah. uh, you know. What is the Tim different is path? Well, and Tim's very likable. Tim but where does Tim fall? Likeable. Does he believe in the conspiracies or I don't some think, of them? He, does, he doesn't really like lock into it anymore. He's okay. more he's more into the. He was on Sam's show last night actually with me, and he did a he did a pretty good job explaining himself. And then you uh, you provide the jokes. You try to keep the jokes. I, I try to keep it as light as possible when discussing fake dead children. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. But I don't understand what the why would he why would they, these guys deny that there's mental illness that just makes people do this stuff? Yeah, I mean there like, is, is every a, drunk driving accident a conspiracy. I don't know because there's even conspiracy within that. You could make the argument that big pharma is like intoxicating these people to the point where they're being medicated, and then if they're taken off, they're fucking they go crazy and they shoot right. people. So that's that's right. another conspiracy that we used to harp on, and now it's kind of you know evolved wow. into this. Is, yeah. there, is there anything crazy that happened that he actually believes happened? He um, or, or does he just across the board not believe anything? He recently said he thinks Sully landed the plane. In the really? Hudson River, that was it. Yeah. What do you think <laughs> happened there at first? I don't know. Oh, okay. I believe that a whole it was the, the, this. Uh, at first, I thought it had something to do with the geese. <laughs> the geese were in on it. <laughs> yes, they threw a bowling ball into the engine just because they wanted more money from the government. That was my theory. <laughs> they finally figured it out. It wasn't their god. No, it wasn't their. <laughs> it wasn't a giant bird that they had to worship. Yeah. They said it has to go now. Matt, anything else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Jimmy, I did the Trump tweet for you this morning. The what, buddy? Oh, that was, oh the Trump the, tweet? The, yeah. The cunt, oh, very the funny. Tweet. Dude, that was yeah, hilarious. That, that, just because of what you said, I was like, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my God. God. That was like hilarious. That I didn't appreciate thing? the language, though. A little salty. <laughs> a little, the C word is not necessary. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can I plug one thing? Sure, man. Sure. Uh, I do a stream on Twitch. That's all. Just look up X Pinky. And boom. Okay. You'll Lots get, of comedy. <laughs> you probably will get a couple people checking that out. Yeah. Hey, I hope so. All right. Thank you, buddy. One more call. Then All we right. got to go to break. Uh, let's say hi to Trucker Shannon, a regular. Shannon, what's going on today? You still there? We lose you? Uh, Shannon? Oh, to, no. What? Just, oh, that's boy. fine. They, they don't want us talking to people. No. She must have had some real stuff. Either yeah. that or a bird grabbed her clit and flew off with it. <laughs> she had to leave the truck. <laughs> she, she wanted to run over. She wanted to run over a baby. She was freaking the fuck out. That pissed off a lot of people there. I bet. Yeah, we have a. Uh, you know, unfortunately, a high percentage of our listeners are like super pro him and negative me. So anytime I bring up objective, you know, counterpoints like you did or questioning, it's uh, it's you know, deemed. I've as lost respect. Maybe. For, them for that reason, because again, I believed in conspiracies. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not, I really thought the Kennedy thing was a fucking conspiracy. And the more I read into it and the more I saw like these childlike conspiracy things that they were still buying after right. certain, I just see how I looked at evidence. I'm like, how could they not look at it that way? Like, I sure. believe, look, I get it. The whole fucking smoky thing and this guy. And then I really, oh, that guy wasn't killed. He's not dead. Right. He died years later. Not, like It was just bullshit. And they bought the bullshit that they accused everybody else of buying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it, conspiracy theorists are just as much of pundits as CNN people or Fox News people. They just kind of regurgitate their narrative and hope they're not challenged. Look, I think the news people are absolutely full of shit. Yeah, same. So, all right. Wow, I'm I'm tired. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> it, it, it actually is exhausting trying trying to have a, a full conversation with someone that believes in that stuff that that deep. Yes. Well, I understand there's a big conspiracy in nine minutes happening. Ooh. Oh, yes. What is it? All these people are going to conspire to make it look like I'm not popular and not buy my tickets when they go on sale. It's a conspiracy. I'm really sold out. <laughs> it goes on sale in nine minutes. My 
tour. Mouthful of shame. Sifey yelled at me yesterday because I'm such a shitty promoter. Know, we all yeah. agree. You got to promote. Like, this is a big thing for you. It's just it's, a, it's a bunch of gigs. If, no, I, if I came out and it no, really is. No, no. But it, it really is. No, no, It's no, a bunch no, of stand-up no. gigs. Mouthful of shame. It's a tour. You're going into theaters officially. You've I've done, done the theater. million theaters. I know you've done it. Th- what are you doing? 2002, I did theaters. Uh, but this is theaters for the next five months. This is definitely very different for you. That's it's, amazing. Yeah, it's not, but it's not. It's, uh, literally, it's not. It's, I've just chosen to do a bunch in a row. I did the Orphan. I'm in Boston in 2002. It's like th- 13 years. But ago. this is one after another, week yeah. after week. This is a big fucking deal. Yeah, absolutely. I, just, it is. I want people to come to the shows, but uh, you know the material's all new, and I am shooting it. So come if you want. I'm not a good salesman. Where are you shooting it? I don't know yet. I have one or two places been narrowed down. Um, the show reason I'm not saying is I just don't know. We have sure. to see if we, the venue is available. All right. Tickets go on sale, though, in a few minutes. I want to shoot on the south lawn of the White House. They're saying that might be a problem. <laughs> might be a conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, it might be a problem. I'm, I'm hoping to shoot there. Right. We're, we're down at the Ground Zero Museum. I say you post up place. on the ice wall. Yeah, the ice Use wall. Use that as a backdrop. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe Roger Waters can come out and do more with the wall, because he hasn't quite milked that one enough. <laughs> fucking hell, we heard you, Roger. You should take a page from that guy's book and just say, I'm fucking uh, shooting my special at Giant Stadium. <laughs> yeah. and then use some of that green screen action, and That's you're right. good. There you That's go. All my and shows have been sold good. out. Someone's been green screening the audience away, though. It looks like a bunch of empty chairs. I want to know who's been doing that. Is there a number for tickets? One no, number. just jimnorton.com, uh, dot and the links should be there. Okay, and it might be if it's, if they're not on sale right away, it might be ten o'clock in your area. So for like, I, I have L.A. coming up. I have right. a bunch of West Coast, Portland. So just check. All right, we'll do that. And Mike, what are you promoting? Uh, the obviously this podcast. Yeah, You're gonna get podcast. a lot more people checking it out. That's for sure. I appreciate sure. that. It's called Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. Yes, sir. And then you're uh, you're, the, you're you do some comedy uh, yeah, yourself. This, uh, obviously, this Saturday, December twelfth at eight p.m. I'm uh, taping a half hour for submission at uh, QED in Astoria, and then uh, next Friday, I'm doing the same thing at New York Comedy Club at 7 p.m. Great. The 18th. Yeah. Beautiful. You might stick around. We only got a half hour left. All we right. got more with Mike Cannon. Stay there. Da-da-da-da! Mike Cannon, on our show for the first time, doing very, very well. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you. I, I'm tired now. That, that last <laughs> segment was draining. Fascinating, though. I, I do yeah. like listening to those guys. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't lack entertainment? That's for sure. No, because they they sound uh, well researched and you know, yeah, believable. But you know, it's and honestly, I gotta give bullshit. it to it. He put he puts in a lot of fucking time. That's for sure. He works hard at it. He does. Yeah. All right. What else is going on? Forgot where we were for a while. But it's- well, our little boy Jim Norton was involved in a film that was just nominated for a Golden Globe Award. What is yes. that about? Yes. Oh, uh, Amy was uh, that's right. Amy for best co- actress in a comedy series. There or it com- is. Sorry, a, a comedy film. Yeah, best picture best- comedy oh, or musical. Awesome. You got The Big Short, Joy, The Martian, Spy, and Trainwreck. And um, Jim Norton was not technically involved in that movie. I mean, you know, in a person. On the DVD. The scene is hilarious, too. I don't know why they didn't include it. It was a little long. It was was time. I I understood why. It was a time issue. But whatever. I am. uh, That's awesome. I just heard that uh, this morning. Very cool. So what? The Martian is considered a, a, a comedy? I didn't see it, so. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see it either. How is that a comedy? It, it's in the comedy category? It's because Mars is not a planet. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up. Wow. <laughs> Can I see the Irish weather woman's uh, report there? Yes. What's, uh, what's oh, the big deal? Is this fake video? This is fake? <laughs> of course it's fake. I haven't even seen it yet. Yes, yeah, I, I did see it. 100% fake. Oh, no. This is legitimately, and this is the one that Dave would say is real. Right. No, <laughs> that stop sign hit this woman. And the stop sign was round. What's that? The, real one. the what? stop sign was edited, and this is the real one. Oh, this is the real one. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Wait, what? what I don't know any of this. What's going on, Paul? Who's ah. amazing on the radio? This Show him how great you are. This clip went viral a couple of days ago, so it became like a bunch of memes, and people were editing stuff into Why it. Why are people I being could, mean? I could, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. I could only find the one with the stop sign, too, until I looked and found this original clip. So this is real? Yeah, this one. Oh, this real. is the original clip, then. All right, let's uh, look I at the original I would never be smart. <laughs> this is an Irish journalist during Rainstorm Desmond. Yeah. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And don't swim in the sea. Incredibly, people have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill both today <laughs> and yesterday. Galway City Council say their 
actions are idiotic. Not only are they putting their lives in danger, but it is unacceptable and unforgivable to put the lives of people in the rescue services at danger as well. For for a little rain? How did she go viral with this dumb clip? Yeah, her oh, teeth. Because it's all the top and it's dramatic. <laughs> bit, She's yeah. got those Irish teeth. I went there to play Gaelic football when I was 16. What? Yeah, I played. Our team in uh, in New York didn't lose for seven years in the States. Went over to San Francisco, beat the second best team. Went over to Ireland, played nine counties and won seven. And 12-year-old girls were biting the caps out of, off of non-twist beer bottles. So that's <laughs> that's pretty consistent with their <laughs> dental history. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this Mike Cannon is a. I played poker going. professionally as well. If you uh, no, I want to hear about it. <laughs> I used to. All yeah. I heard was Gaelic uh, football. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I don't chip on that one. Uh, how did you get into that? My mom thought it was important to like kind of you know see what the culture was all about. But meanwhile, we practiced at a psychiatric center, and most of the coaches were shit faced, pissing on the sideline. Yeah. But you ended up having a really good team. Yeah, we were really good. Yeah. And uh, what are the rules of that? What, what's different about their, their what football? kind of football is it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's a round like heavier volleyball. Right. And uh, is it a vo- is it round like the uh, oh yeah, shit yeah. the earth's not around no no it's not yeah it's a disc no it's a it's like a round heavier volleyball uh to pass it it's almost like a volleyball hit but while you're running down the field every three steps you have to kick it back up to yourself so it's like it's it's pretty fast paced it's no pads it's pretty brutal there's a, a lot of collision a lot of fights and how do you score uh, it's either over the bar, like between the field goal posts is one point, and in the goal, soccer goal is three oh, points. Oh, it's that sport. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can kick it in the goal for mm-hmm. three. Yeah, yeah. Or go high for the one. Exactly. Well, what was your move? Uh, I, I mean, I could kick pretty far with both uh, both legs, so I was uh, half forward. I would you know, win balls and score points. When did you say enough with this Gaelic football? Uh, when I played college basketball, my coach wouldn't let me anymore. Oh, why? Because uh, oh, you must have been good at basketball. Then. I was all right. Yeah, he was trying to protect you, but you're not yeah. a tall guy. No, I took steroids though. So that did you really? Oh yeah, for good sure. Boy. Yeah. Went in college. Uh, yeah, my sophomore year, I was uh, I was pretty big too. Actually, just laying the wood on big guys coming through the coming through the paint. Right, Jimmy? How yes. how about how, <laughs> how much did you weigh? How many how many more pounds? I was like two oh five. Right now, I'm like one eighty. So the steroids gave you twenty five pounds. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of that muscle. A lot, all of it. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a monster. Did your dick get small, like they say? No, my erections got, uh, got T- pretty damn impressive. Oh, more turgid, if you don't mind me using yeah. that word. <laughs> <laughs> the testicles, though, they shrank. No, there was a, uh, there was pills you could take to combat that. Really? You yeah, knew, for you knew sure. the whole. So, did you? Cy- how many times did you cycle in? I did. Uh, I did like three, but uh, by the end of the third one, I went to get a uh, a physical to go because I was going to play at the next level. I was going to play at a four year school, and uh, while I got the physical, they tested my blood, my liver, all this stuff, and uh, I didn't drink at the time. But they asked me if I had drank every day since I was five years old because my <laughs> liver was so fucked up. They were like, "You're going to die." No. Yeah, they were like, this is really bad. And I was like, I don't drink at all. They're like, well, what the hell? And I what told them doing? what I was on. And they were like, stop doing that. So I came back in three weeks. It was like 65% regenerated. Then I came back in a month and it was fine. How old were you? I was 19. 19? They already noticed your liver was fucked up. Yeah, it was real bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's yeah, very young. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was a, it was a dumb decision, but you know, it was, uh, it was fun to feel that powerful. Right. Yeah. Oh, we're watching Gaelic football right now. And you can bounce the ball, too? Yeah, you can bounce it, kick it back up to yourself, bounce <laughs> it, you know, all that depends. And you guys were that good that you were traveling all over the place. Yeah, because Pearl River, New York, do you know where that is? I've it's heard a, of it. Yeah. I, I couldn't point at it on a map or anything. At the whatever. time, I'm not sure if it's still, but it's the most concentrated uh, Irish population outside of Ireland. So they play it down there a lot. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Wow, it does look like a crazy ass. Yeah, sport. bouncing. It's like basketball and soccer combined with alcoholism. It's right, very right. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got into a fist fight after every single game in Ireland. Did you really? Every single one, yeah. Where, on the field or in the bars later? Most in the field, and then in the bars they would, you know, we'd be drinking with them. We were sixteen years old, so you know. Did you get beat up ever? Uh, I have been beat up, not in Irish football, but in uh, in life. Okay. <laughs> well, we all have. We all have. My, uh, my brother was a big rugby guy, and he, he told the stories, man. They would just fight in the bars every fucking... Yeah. 
you know, night after the game, usually with the yeah. other team. It, it was crazy. We were very happy in my family when he settled down and started having kids. Is that right? Yeah. yeah he was in a lot of fucking fist fights just to, just because of the rugby, uh, you know, yeah. uh, culture. Yeah, I was. I mean, it, I, I think I've been in more fights due to bar like hopping than I have been in in sports. Right. Especially at the time when I was on steroids because I was like playing with my new toys. I wanted to just bum toss everybody. You know, the last fight I had, my own demons. <laughs> 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 Did your attitude change? Did you get uh, angry and all that on the steroids? I didn't. Uh, I didn't get angry, but I got like again. I I just like I felt so confident that I was I was putting myself in those positions because I was like, let's fucking do this. I'm ready to go pimples yeah that that got a little bad but nothing i mean i had a friend that uh that took a tremendous amount of steroids and uh he ended up going insane because he was doing a ton of ecstasy at the same time well, that but, doesn't uh, sound like a good combination no he was like power cleaning 225 10 times in the gym in high school and then threw the bar like halfway across the room and yep. in the in the middle of that motion a quarter size pimple popped and bled all the way down to his sock oh Jesus, how, how much more did you end up uh, benching? Fucking lot. I mean, I, I, I yeah, <laughs> quite a bit. I uh, I think my high was maybe like two sixty five, two seventy. I don't know, something like that. I was, uh, yeah, I was. An what were you doing before the steroids? That's the. I was just lifting. You know, Nothing I was too just, crazy. Yeah, I just capped out. I mean, everybody though. I played junior college ball, so I thought it wasn't going to be that crazy. But all the kids ended up going to Gonzaga, St. John's, like Syracuse. So I'm just completely in over my head athletically, and you know. I needed that edge. I tapped out lifting. I tap out about yeah. it. I, I go 110. 110. I throw it up one rep, <laughs> and I try to get blown all over the gym. <laughs> uh, what else we got going on out there? We did a lot of the shit today. We, we did, did uh, We did Times Person of the Year, Angela Merkel. Yeah. And that pissed off uh, Trump yesterday. Yeah, she, probably because she had hair like Lurch. She's really an unpleasant <laughs> woman to look at. <laughs> He's mad because he was the overwhelming uh, favorite, he told people. Yeah. And he knew they wouldn't give it to him because, you know. Yeah. They, they, everyone's against uh, Trump in the media. Weird how that happens. Very strange. They should have given it to the guy from ISIS. I mean, he's the, he, uh, literally the guy who's influenced the world the most. Well, the he's rapper? A, he's a prick. No, no. <laughs> I, I said no. I answered you seriously. Um, what the fuck's his name? I don't remember. Abu Bakar or something. Yeah. Al Baghdadi. Baghdadi. Uh, right. Al Baghdadi. Yeah. By the way, Martin, uh, Sh I hate this guy. S H Mar uh, Shkreli. He's the fucking... He's the drug guy. The drug guy. He's just a twat. He's the guy who, I guess, raised the price of, the, of those AIDS drugs to right. seven fifty for research right, right. and sent from $2. Oh, yeah. He's the guy, it turns out, who bought that one copy of the Wu-Tang Clan album that, that, that sold for $2 million. He is they, such a fucking shit He's there. a cunt. He is, he's a yeah. real cunt. But they, uh, they, they're the ones... They made one album. It was smart by them. And they said, we're going to sell it to one person. And so you can own it and do whatever you want with it. So no one... Uh, uh, so they're assuming that one guy would put it out there for... Or do whatever he wants. But he's he's for sure not going to do that. He's no. shown. Yeah. He's such a fucking cunt, this guy. He's got such a rat album? face. He's a real rat face. Yeah. Didn't he uh, feel a little pressure and he, he dropped the, the, uh, Has it dropped the cost yet? down a little bit? No, he, still no, he said that they completed this deal before all of that shit happened like two months yeah. ago. Okay. And he was worried that they were going to back out once he started getting a bad rep, but they didn't. <laughs> Oh no, the Wu Tang deal went through. Yeah. But uh, the, 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 the drug <laughs> yeah, the, price oh, go down. Did he, so didn't he uh, yeah, feel, I'm feel sorry, the pressure I, I, and he I, dropped the cost a little bit, but it's, it's still outrageous? Yeah, I don't think he ever announced well, what a competitive it was drug, be, though. A competitive drunk, uh, drug company just uh, made a $1 pill, yeah. right? Yeah. Doing the right. same shit. Yeah, he's That's a, he's right. a yeah. really fucking hateable. And, and I watched the interview. People are like, don't believe what you're in, Jimmy. I, I watched him talk about it. I read the entire article. I watched his explanation, the entire interview. The guy's a cunt. He's still hateable. He's a yeah. very hateable. The pill went from thirteen fifty to seven hundred fifty dollars a pill. Jesus, he could have just dropped it. He could have made a 16, fourteen bucks. A sixty-two-year-old drug. Yeah, da Daraprim, right? The price of Daraprim. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What the most hated shit. man in America. Let to uh, he was dubbed the most hated man in America, and then he bought the the Wu Tang record. Of and course he, he did. And of course he did. Because I would assume Wu Tang, because they took it seriously. It's real music on there, right? I'm yeah. sure it is. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. For yeah two yeah. million. It's I'm it's sure it is. Double album. What about right, one so of those blank CDs that we were talking about? Oh, that's what I'm asking. I mean, if you want, <laughs> we already signed it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm 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 just working through this logically. Yeah. So Wu Tang, it's a pretty.
pretty clever marketing idea. You you only give it to one guy, but it's real material that yeah, yeah. that they're proud of, and then they would probably assume that one guy would do the right thing it. and and distribute it for everybody. There was speculation that Tarantino bought it, like when they said that it was an American buyer. Yeah, because he's such a big Wu Tang fan, and he's a millionaire. Right. So that's the first person that everybody thought of was like, well, Tarantino probably bought it. But it's this guy instead. And it's this guy. I kind of like that he bought it. I hope some HIV I think he's an person asshole, fucking... But, but this is... It, I, I like that he's just like trolling people by saying like, maybe I'll listen to it, maybe I won't. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, he's like, I'm going to save it for a rainy he day. He hung out with RZA, too, and he was like, yeah, weirdly enough, we didn't uh, you know, see eye to eye on a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, the guys are real. First of all, if I release one CD and you bought it for $2 million, I'll agree with anything you say that I hang out with. <laughs> Believe me, I'd hang out with Dave and I'd be all in with his conspiracies. <laughs> if he spent $2 million on my next CD, whatever he said is law. That's it. That's fair. <laughs> Yep, flat earth. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, what a cunt. This guy really is a hateable guy. And I watched him talk, and you hate his face. Mm. You hate his voice. He's just sniveling. He's a sniveling, sniveling. smart dude. Perfect word for him. But just a, you know, mm. just a fucking a weasel. All right. I almost said worm, but that's my nickname. I don't, <laughs> don't want to share it. Uh, that's, a, that's a crazy story right there. Yeah, he's a real cunt. Hmm. The RZA. The RZA. I said RZA recently. I, I'm still, I'm sorry to go back to it, but the fact what? that when we were talking all that conspiracy stuff, how confident oh, he was. Oh my God. my God. We don't want to go back but there. I, the, what, what got oh to me was how God. confident he was in every Sometimes single Sometimes they gang up on me, Mr. Harding. <laughs> <laughs> Please. But, but I only want to help. Please. But I only want to. Kill me a favor, Chessie. Stay off my side. <laughs> it's the greatest groveling clip ever. But, but, but I only want to help. Please. Please, <laughs> Mr. Harding has had enough of Jesse's help. You, you uh, especially should not be believing in the conspiracy thing. Why me? Uh, the Jeh. What is that? What is this? J conspiracy J people don't think that anyone. That they don't believe in the Holocaust, so you shouldn't That's believe true. in conspiracies at all. So where did everybody on my father's side go? <laughs> like my, the whole that's your group. We, I don't know who you are. Yeah, you know, that's pretty brilliant on that guy's part. I had that's nothing true. to combat that because I believe the guy in Boston really has a neighbor that died of during course. the Boston bombing. But when he goes, look, I don't know who he is. Do you? I'm like, uh, I guess not. Uh, I, have a, uh, I have a comic coming into our podcast whose uh, brother and father were first responders at Sandy Hook. Yeah. And I, under I already know his side of the argument. He's going to be like, just no. No. It, it's how it goes every time. We've had people, you know, write in just being like, hey, I know so and so, so and so. And again, it's, yeah, I don't know you. It's a tough one to answer. Yeah. How do you know that this guy is, uh, what is That's the built in safety mechanism. That's, that's the safety net these supposedly, or these actually intelligent people build in this safety net of I can literally just cover my eyes and ears. What I like uh, about you uh, lately on this show, Jimmy, you, you say every once in a while, you just know. You know what I mean? Sometimes you do. You just you just know, and and maybe you can't explain it perfectly. You just know in your in the deep inside yourself that it is what it is. You ever see a fat girl and you know her pussy's gonna stink? <laughs> yes, of course you have. But sometimes they surprise you. <laughs> Almost never. <laughs> <laughs> back, to, back to you. Yeah, exactly. It smells like someone fucking took a, a piece of lamb and hid it under an armpit. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we gonna say? I'll bite. That I'll was bite. it. That, that what? That, 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 uh, how, uh, just how confident he was in every single thing he said. I believe that he believes what he's saying. Oh, Everything. Yeah. Is that every a sweater you're wearing, by the way? A sweater, sweat, hoodie? Yeah, I've worn oh. it here before. It's terrible. Why? What's wrong a with my sweater? A sweater hoodie? Yeah, why? What's wrong with that? Everything. Why? You're wearing a regular hoodie hoodie. Exactly. I, that's why the sweater element is what's disturbing me. So is Mike. He's wearing a hoodie. Yeah. You have a sweater. I don't want to feel it. Feel how comfortable I don't want to. I feel so, I'd like to see a two train feel it. It's, I want, I want to fucking, <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoodie sweater and it bothers me. Yesterday I was wearing a leather Tuscadero jacket. That, oh, well, that tight jacket was awful. It wasn't tight. It was tight. It wasn't tight. Have you noticed they both have the same jacket too and they no. wear it on the same day some days? No, I haven't. That, that, that happened <laughs> wait, till, wait till that one hits you. No, I haven't. Oh, it's a little uncomfortable. That happened Monday, and none of us realized it until we were all in the But in how did you do? You went to his warehouse. They said, we have two left, a medium and a triple X. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an XL. I'm an XL. I'm a 48 regular. I Yeah. How did you guys get the same jacket? I bought mine first. He, he so copied that's what's me. Made, that's what makes it stranger. Like, if your mom, because moms do mom things. If, 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 if your mom said, all right, I bought, you know, uh, both of you the same jacket for Han Hanukkah. Hanukkah. You can say it. Hanukkah. You can say what it. What day are we up to? Four? 
uh, what happens it's on the, the fourth night? What happens on the fourth night? I know it's the fifth, the fifth night. night. What happens? Is it starting to drag now? No, man, we're getting in the home stretch. The presents get bigger. They get bigger. Oh, what is it? What did you get tonight? I don't get. I any. hope it's a tin of liverwurst. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'd love a tin. Of liverwurst. All, I would, to be honest with you. All kidding aside, yeah, a piece of fucking liverwurst on some rye bread with some fucking Ooh. mustard, oh. perhaps Ooh. a piece of cheese or even an onion. And I don't typically like onion. Yeah. Holy fuck! That's Destroy your breath. But yeah. goddamn, a piece of liverwurst would go right. I a little agree. yellow mustard. Yeah. Right? No. The deli mustard. The deli deli mustard. Yeah. mustard. No. No. A pickle deli on the side. Yeah. Big. What's better after you come in a girl's mouth and eat some liver? The worst. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever a hard heard that combination that. ever. Yeah, but I challenge you to find a better one. No, I trust give, you. Can you give us a minute to think about it at least? No the, better. No? There's no better order of things to blow a load in a girl's mouth <laughs> than have her go fetch you a liverwurst sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fetch awesome. You. They want Rahm Emanuel to, sorry, just because it's on the news. They want him, did you follow this yesterday? They want him to step down as mayor of Chicago. Yeah. Because yeah. they didn't release that uh, that tape in time. Well, and there was and, an active the, cover-up, right? And, and the people are saying, we have a trust problem up here, so they want him. He's not yes. He's not stepping yeah. down. I think what he said is what we have here is a failure to communicate. Failure. What they seem to have yeah. here, the failure to communicate. What is that? That's cool. And Luke. It was. That was not a that good impression. Yeah, that doesn't cover no, up the fact that that can, was a can you, horrible hold on. impression. Can we, can we play Justin's impression? That was not uh, a good impression. And he was trying to cover minute. up by going, wait, isn't that? No, I was trying to figure out no. what movie it was You from. sound like Blair's cousin Jerry doing Cool Hand Luke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, as a fire to come out of I was trying to remember the movie. Yeah. What we have uh, here. Yeah. So good. Yeah, he's such a hateable you guy. You gotta bring it down here. Strother Martin, right? It's failure to communicate. Love That's a little better than yours, Jesus. Well, we seem to have here. Yeah. Play the real clip. I think I'm what dead on. What we have here. I'm dead on. I wish you were. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you. You love me. I was going to say a rival, but <laughs> I don't know what you did. <laughs> but now you did say it. I know. I just wanted to get the joke in. Travis, just fine. Get the joke Travis, in. Just, Give me a minute. Travis just enjoying it for himself in there. Come on, share it. Fuck <laughs> garbage. I think it was Brother Martin. I'm looking it, it up. Was. Yeah, oh, it was. was it? Okay. Uh, it's definitely cool hand loop. Wow, that's 1967. How much for a cookie? Hold on. <laughs> I didn't say that. How much for a cookie? Oh, here we go. We should stop being so good to me, Captain. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Never! Never! Wow, reminds me of my contract negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> What we've got here is failure to communicate. Oh, wow. Some men you just can't read. Where's the fucking Slash's guitar riff? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? This is Civil War. Oh, Jesus. Of course. I literally can't hear this without hearing waiting for that to fucking guitar to roll. And it's, we've got we, here. What, it's what we've got. I always got say what we have here. here. I so do I. What we got here. Yeah. It's failure to communicate. I sounded exactly like him. It was close. No, exactly like him. Let's let's, let's hear Justin. on my. Hand. <laughs> I think what he said is what we have here is a failure to communicate. Failure what we seem to, to have here, yeah, a failure to communicate. I sound exactly like him. The failure to communicate. You can't tell the two clips oh, apart. Yeah, oh, oh. I'm not Asian. What do we have here? Yeah. I'm not Asian. I'm not going to take this abuse. It, it sounded exactly. Can like we hear that one more time? That fucking that awful yeah. deaf person impression. <laughs> I think what he said is what we have here is a failure to communicate. Failure what we seem to, to have yeah. here, the failure to communicate. <laughs> it's radio gold. I'm telling you, <laughs> you it's terrible. It's amazing. It's not a good impression. That's, that was. Bad. Do you do any other impressions? I do many impressions. Give us one more. Could you do Brooks from uh, Shawshank? <laughs> <laughs> I do one impression, but it's a visual one, so that won't work on the radio. What is it? It's uh, it's the FBI guy in every movie. Okay. Let me All see right. it. Let, yeah, let's see it. But it's visual. Okay, well, we we'll... understand. Yes, we'll All right, report so, it. A so, uh, 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 so, someone's been kidnapped. Right. Wait, should we film this? I think we should. One hundred percent. You want a viral video? I, this I, is the I, one to get. Pick a viral video. Pick your phone up. Why is your phone down? I'd, let's film this. Here we got. Where's Paul back there Where's gallivanting? Paul? No, you gotta use. Uh, yeah, use oh, the yeah, big yeah. camera no, for this. Well, no, because then you get that. Yeah, oh my yeah, god. That. You're right. Where's Paul? You're right. That one. There you go. Yeah, but do you know which video is what? Here. Is that it? 
Okay. All right. So wait. So what? What's so going on? Someone, Set it up again. Someone's been kidnapped. Wait. What are we looking at? I'm a monster. You, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> so so someone's been kidnapped, yeah. and and the and the feds, yeah, are at the family, and they're waiting for the call. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, and it's like keep them on the line, keep them on the line, keep them on the line, and then when they finally hang up. You, uh, Opie, you, you, you'll be the head fed, and you look at me and say, did we get it? Okay, and then I'll do my part. I should do that part. Okay, you do it. Say, say, did you get it? Ready? It's yeah. my first acting role. Okay, go ahead. You do it, and I'll do it after. Okay. And this, it's all visual. Did we get it? We didn't get, get it. Wait. He's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Say, say, did we get it's it? It's a garbage. <laughs> did we get it? That's my invitation. He shook his head no. That's it. Every movie. Our listening audience enjoyed that. <laughs> I told you it's visual. That's why they enjoyed it's it. Not, uh, it's not even visual. That will it go was viral, visual. though. At least you caught it on camera. He did this. Look, he, they always do this. Turn Two more the, times so they can slow it down. One more time. Oh, turn, off, turn off the cameras. He takes <laughs> off the headphones. He speaks like, yes, I did. And then he, he, he reluctantly shakes his head no. So it's... That's every movie. Oh, wow. Oof. That's an amazing imitation. You're I want to do an impression. imitation of people who just had to witness that. There's a full metal jacket clip I'd like you to pull up <laughs> in the, <laughs> the toilet. Yes, do oh, easy, man. Muslims. You got that on camera, sport? <laughs> <laughs> My own brother played that. <laughs> that guy's awesome. He is awesome. He looks like fucking... Uh, got that on camera, sport? He looks like... Don uh, Zimmerman? N yes, yeah. <laughs> Zimmerman, and I'm thinking of the general... Schwarzkopf. But yeah, Don Zimmerman mm, even more. Zimmerman. I want Chuck, Chuck Knobloch to drive a fucking foul ball into his chin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch Cool Hand Luke now when I get home. Zimmer. Don Zimmer. Don Zimmer. Oh, right. Don Zimmer. Right. Don Zimmerman shot the black player. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. He was coaching first base. And yeah. fucking, uh, dude, I can't think about Black Yankee. What a racist I am. How about one Black Yankee? Chris Dave Campbell. Winfield. <laughs> he was running towards first. Yes, he was running. And, and Zimmer, Zimmer, Don Zimmerman said, stop. Did you say Zimmerman? I did, yeah. Okay, I agree with you. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Don Zimmer. I guess we could start wrapping up. Mike Cannon, who does a wonderful uh, yeah, a uh, podcast. Now I'm gonna check it out. I don't. I, I can't check out too many of these. Though. I'm gonna be honest. I don't blame you. you. One or two, and then I'm gonna have to tap out. I was just in there changing my clothes, talking to Troy, and Troy Kwan, our guy, bought bought into a lot. He's not as heavy into conspiracy as your guy, but he's like, dude, there's a lot of questions, but he meant it. Yeah, deep inside the rabbit hole is the podcast. Yes, sir. So. Here's one last question about that guy. So he, he says the news is full of shit with their info. Yeah. Right. But his info mm. is ironclad. You're goddamn right. Right there. Good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. So where does he get his info? And what, how does he know he so can So we have to that? believe that his info is ironclad, but we have to also believe that the media is full of shit. Exactly. Yeah. Which I do believe that the media oh, is for sure. full of shit. I think he spends most of his time just breaking down the mainstream media as opposed to actually researching I would alternatives. Love, I would uh, listen to a podcast where people break down the mainstream media. Because I was watching the Chicago thing yesterday. They mm -hmm. had protests on the street, kind of like what we had in New York uh, a few months back. Yeah. And they're just waiting for people to act up. Oh yeah, and and they're they're pushing the agenda because they're yeah. they're they got the cameras on and they're following the people and they really want a riot to happen that they would probably they probably would have technically started themselves. Well, and did you see because those I think Sonic... people do act differently when the cameras are on them for sure. Yeah, and did you see the that Sonic? Uh, I think it, some sort of riot thing that the NYPD was using the noises to disperse uh, the protesters. No. Yeah, I mean that's that's some pretty heavy duty shit. They're like it's like this high pitch frequency. See that like that really, no one could handle. Yeah, it really fucks you up. What about earplugs? Yes, I mean, maybe. What if the yeah. protesters go away. They're going to use that sonic shit tonight, right? But we got our earplugs. <laughs> so I don't do it. I don't. <laughs> I don't think I got a fair shake on my imitation. You're lucky we moved on. I'm just saying, it was, a good, you, it was a good imitation. I'm telling you, you're you're lucky we moved on. It was a good one. We would still be beating the shit out of you if, if we had more time on this show. <laughs> what is the sonic thing though? For real. I don't know. It was just something that the police were using. There was a bunch of video of it on YouTube and stuff like that during the um, during a lot of the protests. I think when they like s shut down the West Side Highway and stuff like that. Mm. Now, can you hear this? Yeah, yeah. It's, or is it's, it something such a like low frequency or whatever? I don't know how it's that high, exactly. Yeah, but it, it bothers your ears, but you actually don't know that they're actually doing it. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Is it is this an example of it? I think so. Let me hear this.
Military-grade sonic weapon to mind control and disperse. I think Ted Alexander even posted, like, a personal video of it. Oh, really? At really? One point. Yeah. And an Eric yeah, Garner... Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they had that, because they don't want to fire tear gas at everybody. Right. But, I mean, the media's still filming, so who's this hitting, and why isn't the media going down as well? I don't know what I'm looking at. It's just a crowd. And if it has 2,000 views, that means it's shit. You know what it could be? Sorry. Ah! The car alarm. That sounds like every argument I've had with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's nothing. Bunch of Mike's full of sugar. Mike's full of sugar. <laughs> Mike's full of shit is what we just learned. Right? <laughs> I'll look it up in my own time. That's two. That's Fetty Wap and the goddamn Sonic Weapon. You are doing so well. My, yeah, my credibility is shit. Yeah, yeah, you've been courteous and receptive to courtesy, and then this ham-handed segue. <laughs> it won't do. Do the conspiracy people show up at your stand-up gigs? Um, not really, because they're, they they're don't not... believe they're going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they don't. Wow. <laughs> uh, I mean, already know it's a green screen. Yeah, in Philly at Helium, up? somebody showed up with a rabbit hole shirt. That was pretty cool. So, you know, All right. it's it's little by little. All right. All right, what do we do? Uh, Mike Cannon, this was great, man. you got to come back and see us. I it's, appreciate uh, it. Thanks. I am Mike Cannon on Twitter, and yep. you got that uh, podcast, Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. Yeah. Get it on iTunes and SoundCloud. And then uh, what were you doing again? You were doing... December uh, 12th, I'm uh, taping a half hour at QED yes. in Astoria, and then uh, December 18th at New York Comedy Club at 7 p.m. Wonderful. Thanks for coming by. Thanks man. for having me. A Geneseo almost graduate. <laughs> there you go. One class short, and he ain't going back, so stop bothering him. Uh, Jimmy, what do you got? Well, obviously, the tickets are now on sale for everywhere for the big theater tour. Yeah, they're on sale now. Go to jimnorton.com. I start in Chicago February 11th. I got New Year's Eve in uh, you know, uh, Rhode Island and a few club dates, Tampa, and a couple other club dates first. Yep. But uh, the theaters start February uh, 11th, and um, I got everywhere, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, Boston. Uh, Chicago, Philly, a whole bunch of cities. Grand Rapids, Wilmington, Grand Rapids, Kansas City. I've never been to St. Louis or New Orleans. I'm doing both of them back to back. People have been asking me for years to go to both of those locations, so I'm going. Um, L.A., Vegas, Bethlehem, PA, oh, Austin, New Orleans. Nice. Yeah, I've never done it before, man. But we we were on there. We were pretty popular back yeah. in, in the day. So I'm hoping that people come out. I fucking love that. You city. can drink. Yeah. Yeah. You can drink right here in the airport. Drink right here in the airport. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, do a bunch of jokes about the crawfish, <laughs> and I have a bunch of. Swamp jokes. people references. Oh yeah, about yeah. the fucking levy. Bro, hope the levy doesn't break in the middle of my act, for folks. That's a that, that's a tree shaker. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the Tom's cell phone thing? I'm not a huge drinker, Mike. Mm -hmm. But New Orleans, man, do what they do. I got yeah. pretty fucked up at a dinner with uh, Mike, uh, uh, Tom. with uh, Tom, sorry, who was our program director. And I thought it would be funny in front of a table of 10 people, that, and I didn't know any of them really, to put his cell phone in his beer. <laughs> and it did not go over well. He was fucking pissed. It was his cell phone. Yes. I thought it would be hilarious. <laughs> why, why didn't you like that? And it was not hilarious. I think, but I was feeling I it works. I was feeling good, and I'm like, oh, I know it will be fun right now. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, was he mad. <laughs> but it did dry out. My girlfriend has done that before by mistake. She was she was a yeah. little liquored up trying to pass it across the table and just plopped it right in a fucking pitcher, right into a pitcher or something. Yeah. Tom, uh, he's a good egg though. He was all right. He did some crazy ass shit for us over the years. <laughs> all right. He said irritating drunk wrong. <laughs> he, was, he, was just, he loved the fuck out of us yeah, though, he man. He loved us at our show. Uh you're gonna go see the Ark? Uh the Arch. The Arch. In see, St. Louis? Yeah. Have you I ever might. been? Yeah, I might. You, you gotta see it. Up? How do you take an elevator up in a thing like that? It's an elevator up, it goes up at like uh steps almost. Really? Yeah. Oh you've done it? Yeah. Is it worth it? I, it was, I was a kid. It's, it was, seemed worth it as a kid. Now I don't know, I don't know if I'd trust it. I may. <laughs> mm. I don't know. It, it's fine. It's still Let me working. see the elevator at the top real quick. <laughs> All right. Is, is it a glass elevator? Elevator no. to the top. At least it was when I was on it. Gateway arch. Is this going to show the curvature <laughs> of the earth? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually flat, by the way. This is not an arch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gateway line. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just walk up it? Are you allowed to walk up it? I didn't see any stairs. Cleared a 40 square block area of the original city of St. Louis. Oh, no one gives a shit. They oh, just want to see the view. Are you inside or outside there? It's inside. You could probably walk up. You have to be able to walk up. 
Yeah, there were stairs there. Yeah. All right, we're seeing nothing of importance. We're just here. looking at an elevator. We're yeah, watching a video matter. of an elevator to close out the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Justin visual impression and then the elevator video we just watched. Uh, I felt very interesting. Guy's getting on now. He hit a button, and apparently uh, now he's in the yard well, taking a picture. All right. It looks like you're in a tall yeah. building. That's the like worst. You. That stinks. That's, That's a so giant. Much. It's an upside down U. That's pretty fucking high, though. Yeah, all right. But well. it looks just like our view outside our windows. Except What's the difference? Arch. Our building's not Yeah, but arch. when you're in the arch, you don't feel like you're in the arch anymore. It looks like you're just looking out, outside a building. Well, you're pretty high in St. Louis. Uh, we're pretty Pretty high right now doing this fucking broadcast, and I don't mean uh, yeah. marijuana. Yes. Oh, we I'm, really got to go. I, yeah, I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to Vegas to watch the fight. Uh, Aldo McGregor get that fight. That's going to be a oh, huge nice. fucking right. fight, man. On on Saturday night, and of course, Weidman is fighting for his belt uh, on the undercard. But Aldo McGregor is a gigantic, excellent Absolutely. fight. So I can't wait to get out there. Oh, wait. We're done for the week. Yeah. We're, we're not Monday. doing the show tomorrow? No. Fuck. All right. We're done until Monday, then. Mike Cannon, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, man. Uh, we're going to end properly now. Let's just get the fuck out of here.